Let's go. Glad to see Wallaby out man, definitely missed him keep up the great RP. Oh, we're close to a train? As much as I love this song, we just got a fucking train. So you know what that means. Alright, baby. All aboard the fucking hype train yeah. express. Get them emotes. Get those dancers in the chat if you got them. All aboard. Coat off, Wallaby. There you go. Choo choo! <laughs> El Tigre! Top of the world! TMI.twitch.tv USERNOTICE hashtag Vertigo Gaming. Oh, I've missed you all, guys. I've missed you. Get them squirrels. Man, you need the squirrel emote, man. You know you need it and you want it. <laughs> bum, 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 bum.
You know, you know what we need? Oh shit, did we just wait 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 whoa 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 Okay, we got to we got the next level. Okay, well they have I have to play it man. I have to play it for the past few days. Perfect moment for a new stream. I have to play it, man. The original. Get those dance. By the way, guys, the dancing mode is my second most used emote throughout the entire year. And we only had it for like two fucking months. The fuck? How's that even possible? Vert dance, vert dance, vert dance. It's because we're so fucking hype in here, man. Vert dance, vert dance. Hype train three. Oh no, we're on four now. Oh shit. All right. Dancers, guys. Here we go. Look at this guy. You wouldn't think this guy's murdered five people and might be the most notorious outlaw in the crossing, right? For T bro, Vert <laughs> dance, Vert dance, Vert dance, Vert dance. dance, baby. Oh, it's been so fucking long, guys. I'm so glad to be back. Oh shit! Is that a fucking saxophone? Holy shit, it's going deep with the sax! Thank you guys thank you for the the uh we made it to level three hype train oh i appreciate that guys thank you so much thank you so much i appreciate that thank you for the warm welcome back i love yous oh god tails godfather thank you for the resubs soft easy thank you for the tier one sub welcome to the empire four but okay no 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 it's only four if you get to the end of level four you you fulfilled oh fuck oh shit we're one percent away from it a... wait hang on hang on hang on oh great okay hold on okay well we have <laughs> gotta fucking dance again hold on uh fire fire son of a bitch god damn it Kill... I oh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, shit okay all right this will do this will do all right, more dancers. Let's go, baby. Da 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 da! Oh god, the vault's gonna be muted. I forgot. Shit! Bum, bum, 
bum. Thanks for the vacation. I'm finally caught up. Have a great stream vert dance. Rock on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Song name. It's not unusual by Tom Jones, which by the way, the only thing wrong with that song is that it's only two minutes long and it's fucking criminal that it's only two minutes long. It's criminal. Oh, thank you guys. We reached level four. I got to shout out a lot of people. I'm going to fuck it up. I'm going to fuck names up. I'm going to destroy names. I'm going to get it wrong. I'm going to mix up people's names. I'm going to forget people. I'm going to miss people. Don't take it personal, all right? I appreciate every single one of you. Dan, thank you for the race. I'm 68 months. This guy's a lunatic. <laughs> uh, Jail Rama, thank you for the 16-month race. Up. Unicorn, thank you for the 16 as well. Khalid. <coughs> <coughs> Got the name right. Nailed it. Came in with 10... I think 10. Happy birthday, Vert. Dude, it's not my... You know, you know, Merry Christmas, okay? Merry Christmas. Macho style. Think of the five gifted subs. Car... Car... Son of a bitch. Cargoog? <laughs> Thank you for the, um, the gifts as well, mate. Nailed it. Listen, I've been, I've been away, okay? I forgot, it. I forgot all your names, okay? What do you want from me? Drew Backer, thank you for the... Oh, converting from a Prime to a Tier 1? Well, Drew. Appreciate that, man. Thank you for sticking around. Tails, Softy, Kevin. Hey, K Tracy, how you doing, man? Too Sexy, coming with five to subs. Slum Shady, with five as well. All aboard the fucking hype train, intoxicated. Thank you for the three months. Sco oh, shit. Ed Brown with five gifted subs. Ah, I got myself a coffee. Hmm. Thank you so much for uh, for the hype train, guys. I do appreciate you. I love yous. We went from 50% to 65%. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what you guys don't know, is that once you get to the tier five, that's when the really good emotes unlock. They hide it behind the the tier five paywall. That's that's what it is, guys. Holy shit! Tails with another five gifted subs. Thank you, man. Now you did it. Okay, don't, listen, guys. That's a that's a lie. There's no there's no good there's no good fucking emotes. Bad goat. Thank you for five as well. Oh god. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Can we have a look at the emotes you all just unlocked? This is this is going to be great. This is going to be great. Show us what you got, guys. Show us what you got. Give us a look. Oh, you got a... What the fuck is... An owl reading a book? A squirrel... Oh, it actually was a squirrel. You got a... A waving turkey or something? A duck? That's good stuff, guys. Okay, Kaleeb, I know you unlocked that giraffe a long time ago. That's one of the classic... That's one of the classic emotes that we've received. But I tell you what, that waving duck might be a new favorite, man. That's a, that's an amazing emote, man. Like, aren't you guys proud of yourselves? Huh? That's worth right. There you go. Hey, Waving Duck. Hell yeah, man. If we had known 
that waving duck was on the fucking line. I think we could have broke some records, man. Mmm. <sighs> Very good. <laughs> hey, we got some new outfit. We got a new outfit. I mean, it's not real. I mean, it is a new outfit. It is a new outfit. It's a different mix mash of things that Wallaby's worn in the past. Um... So it is kind of new, sorta. Oh, we got the we got the winter coat. Bada boom. Okay. Johnny Triceratops, thirty-five, big months. An RDR rock with sixteen. I love you guys. You guys are great. What a welcome back. What a welcome back. Thank you so much, guys. Um, appreciate the love. It's been a, it's been how long now? Since I've streamed. Five days? Something like that? Five days? It hasn't been two weeks. It's been about five, six days. <sighs> A year. Too long. Ah, oh, guys. Well, that's what happens when you're, you're serving, uh, you know, big, big boy times, man. For big boy crimes. Listen, I'm just going to say, we didn't attempt a murder of Ruth, okay? All right? We all know it. It's fine. The law's coming after the Wallaby kid, and it makes sense. It makes sense. It, to it totally makes sense for Malone, because I think Malone's the one that changed the charge to first degree. Which makes sense, because he hates Wallaby. But you would think... That someone in the sheriff's office, listening to him say he's going to dig up my blank ex-girlfriend and throw into the ocean and build a fucking sheriff's department on top of it, and then choking me against the wall, someone would be like, you know what? He might be a little biased, guys. Maybe we should look into the charge. Maybe. <laughs> so I'm upset with below because that's, that's expected. That's expected, man. But the rest of the department... Holy shit. They're just ignoring this fucking charade, man. I'm from Utah. It's snowy and cold here, but got... really pretty. Ooh. The best snow on earth, they say. The best snow on earth. <coughs> Mate, I wouldn't know. I know very little. Oh. Oh. Thank you, man. Damn. Look at that, man. He's a god. I got ideas for Malone, man. I got ideas for Malone. Um, however, it's probably not what you expect. But I have ideas. The same when you go when you make a trip to see snow. Utah is a good spot. And plus you got the Utah Jazz, man. Don't forget that. That's a big draw. Don't kill him. He's the pass of the gun. Oh no, we're not we're not killing him alone, man. That's that's not that's not the goal. Killing him's easy, man. Killing someone is so easy. You, you get a gun, you you shoot him in the head. You know? That's easy. Plus, you know, it wouldn't be as fun with, you know, without Malone around. You need Malone around. Now, we got we got different plans for 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 him. We're already getting to him. Did you see how much he freaked out at us and choked us against the wall, man? He's a uh... <laughs> We're getting to him, guys. We're getting to him. Let's burn his feet. No, I'm not going to burn his feet, man. Glad you're back. I need some cheering up. My girlfriend broke up with me the other day. Ah. Oh. Ah, uh, dude. Listen, mate. This man is now You'll find someone else, man. Chin up. Chin up. There's a gazillion girls out there. Gazillion. Office, so I'm working from home for the rest in the year, allowing me to watch you live more. 
You have been missed, my friend. Thank you, man. Turt loss, man. I mean, you got... I mean, look, 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 look. She just broke up with someone that watches this stream, man. She's going to regret this. May their city walls crumble. Big time. I promise you that. She's gonna be she's gonna be sitting on the couch one day going, you know what I miss? Will you kill off Wallace here in that so we can get some more 7D2D? <laughs> to three years boy. She's she's gonna be sitting there going, you know what I miss? I miss hearing that that Virgo guy's voice in the background. Shit. Damn it, what have I Damn man? <laughs> you got this, bro. Chin up, mate. Chin up. I'm not killing off Wallaby for you, okay, glorious noob. All right, you've uh, you, you, you're a 36 month sub, okay. Fair enough, but that doesn't grant you the power of getting me to perm my character, right? It's gonna have to be at least 100 months. She doesn't have the waving duck emote. That's true, K Tracy. She doesn't have the waving duck emote. What a fool, man. What a fucking fool. You know what? Good riddance, man. Am I right, RDR? I'm right, right? I'm right. Good riddance, man. She missed out. <sighs> Don't say I'm not far off 100 months now. Sure, you're going to get banned at 100 months. That's going to be your reward. Your eternal reward. <laughs> I got a, I got a, a telegram I got to read to you guys. I haven't read it yet, but I'm going to read it. We're going to read it together. Some juicy stuff I think might be in it, but I don't know. It's a big, it's a big paragraph of something. Let's uh, get some water. Hey, Bert. Glad you're back. I, I just broke up with my girlfriend because she refused to watch Wild RP. <coughs> It's a pandemic, man. It's a fucking pandemic. Hey, you wanna, you wanna, uh, you wanna pass her number over to fucking RDR over here? Hook a brother up. It's spreading like wildfire, dude. months of lurking. Twitch recap said I watched you 830 hours with only 12 chats. Jeez. You're the best first. Uh, well, I'm not the best, but I will appreciate, I will take the compliment. I will say, I looked at the, uh, the Twitch recap thing, and, um, as I said earlier, that dancey mode has been used. Okay, get this. My most used emote in my chat is lull, okay? And Lull's been used like a hundred thousand times in my chat. So glad you're back. Try not to get locked up for From, a while, eh? I'll try not to. From January till now, Lull has been used a hundred thousand times. Okay? The dance emote has been used like 92... Not 92, sorry. How much was it? I can't remember how much it was now. Does anyone recall? What was it? Was it 96? 96,000 times. But here's the thing. Lull has had a full year. Dance has been around for like two fucking months. You guys are insane with that emote, man. That's a... It's... it's oh, God, it's crazy. Crazy. Uh. Oh, boy, oh, boy. It's a, it's a, it's a well-loved emote. I'll give it that. I'll give it that. Let's get to 100k. Dude, it's, pro yeah, it's going to get there, man. But then again, I don't know if the, um, if the Twitch recap, if it even, I don't even know if it even updates. I don't think if it, if it even, it doesn't update, right? Uh, let's read this, uh, let's read this telegram because this is a very important one. Actually, I've got two very important ones. So Peaches gave me a telegram from CD. 
apparently she sent a telegram to CD making fun of him not being able to do a bank job. And this is what CD replied to her with. So, we hold on to that one. We're going to hold on to that one. Uh, I don't know why CD would do that. Eh, but we'll get to that later. Um, the other telegram I got this morning. Uh, the 15th. So this was, uh, this was, what, three hours ago? It's from... It's called Information. And it's sent by a bystander. I don't know who that be. Information. Okay, let's read this. Scout and Dakota helped Speedy after the murder of Mrs. Goose. They knew every detail first. When Mrs. Goose stepped... By the way, Mrs. Goose is dead. <laughs> Just... Okay, wait, before we read this. Little recap. While I was in jail... <laughs> While I was in jail... Hold on, let me just turn my fan on. Okay. While I was in jail, Mrs. Goose stabbed Eddie. For what reason? I don't know. But it's Eddie. It could have been a multitude of things, okay? Because for some reason, he was doing the school arc again, which historically has ended badly every single time. So she stabbed Eddie. A few hours went, went by. For some reason, she wasn't charged with attempted murder. Um... Of the first degree, uh, because Malone was in charge, and he doesn't like doing that. God bless him, he's a very uh, lenient sheriff. So she doesn't get locked away. Instead, she gets a fine and then released into the wild. So she gets released into the wild. Speedy picks her up, takes her to a pond somewhere, baptizes her, and then shivs her in the neck, and then throws her in the river. Goose dies. Okay? Speedy then turns himself in, admits to first degree murder, gets 300 minutes. <laughs> yeah. You might be thinking to yourself, Verts, he admitted to first degree murder. How does he get 300 minutes and you get 8 OOC for, for, for scarring Ruth? Well, you know what? The answer is, I don't know. A <laughs> point being, Goose is dead. Now, there's a whole kerfuffle now because Speedy killed her without the permission of Wallaby or anyone else in the gang. Okay? And this could potentially draw us into conflict with an entire town, which we don't really want to have a problem with because, you know, what's the point? Right? Like, it's just, it's just chaos. Valentine is a cesspool. We don't want nothing to do with that. Okay? So... Let's read this telegram for the information. Okay. Dakota and Speedy. Actually, it's Dakota and Scout. So, this is interesting. Scout and Dakota helped Speedy after the murder of Mrs. Goose. They knew every detail first. When Mrs. Goose stabbed Braithwaite, they just stood there and watched. Okay. They tried not to get involved and won't put themselves in harm's way. If they have no one around to impress... Wait a minute. If they have no one around to, to impress... They say Speedy is part of your gang before the murder. So the word is out. Okay. Then after the murder, switch their words. When they were seen alone hanging out with him. They only have each other's back. And will turn on, uh, turn on you or befriend you. If it benefits them. This reeks of Speedy sent this telegram, man. <laughs> it's... Okay. Be cautious. Be wary. Scout's words are only ex excuses. And he can never do wrong. Dakota will side with him over all others. They will snitch for less time. Well, yeah, okay. Exchange guns for less time. Yeah, okay. And not shoot for less time. It's, it's basically what I do. <laughs> it's, it's basically what I, what I do. Dakota often meets Deputy Maple. Yeah, we know about that. Beware. She fancies him. 
and shares information. You will see. Do not put your life in their hands. Have someone you trust close by when they are around. Listen to what they say closely. You do not have to believe this telegram. Just see for yourself and be aware their loyalties lie with each other and no one else. See, coming from someone that didn't want to mark their telegram as to who sent it, instantly makes all of this sus as fuck. The anonymous tip, man. Now, there's a few things about this. Wallaby... <sighs> hmm. Th this part about they didn't do anything when Eddie got stabbed. I mean... Sure. But there's... We gotta have context as to exactly why they didn't. You know what I mean? Was there more than one person there? Was law there? There's a lot of things that could, you know. I think this is most likely Speedy. Speedy doesn't like Scout. or uh, I, I think he might have a soft spot for Dakota. But he hates Scout. He hates Scout so much. Hmm. Interesting. We're going to hold on to that. That's probably going to come into uh, into play later. I heard that Maple and Goose were banging. He f no, man. Yes, we found Rennie yesterday. Wallaby found Rennie. We went to... Um, we went to Shady Bell and she was laying there. So we picked up Rennie and we crashed. Um, we found Rennie and we took her to uh, Rhodes first. There was no doctors. So then we went to Valentine, no doctors. We waited there for like 20 minutes. No one showed up. Um, so then we ended up going to Blackwater and there were some doctors there. And um, she's now stable. She's okay. She's resting up at the slaughterhouse. Ranger Wallaby? Yeah, mate. I don't have the qualifications to be a ranger. I think the whole server just crashed. Unless it's just the Australian thing again, which I really hope it isn't. Could I get a confirmation on if everyone else crashed or if it's just me? Thank you very much. We also ran into, um, I ran into Jack Kennelman yesterday. We had like a short two minute conversation. He was like, keep it on your telegrams. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I would have done that anyway, Jack, but thank you. <laughs> Keep it on your telegrams. <laughs> Become Ranger. Sell the bold actions. Do they get bold actions for free? I don't think they do. Oh, God damn it, man. I'm going to have to fucking play some music. Jack Kettleman. I also ran into the sheriffs yesterday too, which was, we had a really cool scene. Are people still on? Oh, for fuck's sake, not this again. It's like this server don't want me, man. The server doesn't want me. I'm, I'm trying to get back on, guys. Hold. Hold. God, if, if, if Davey's on Pete, the amount of shit that has to be, like, all the meta dump that has How to be dumped on him, we'll just get Scout to do it. <laughs> we'll just, we'll, we'll just, we'll just get, we'll get Scout to do it, man. Mr. Larson, thank you for the 27 long ones. How you doing, man? Stop. Thank you for the tier one sub. A few others crashed. Okay. 
Were they Australians or are they American as well? Uh, can someone check if that, what's it called? Something, something, something is down. Three letters. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called now. X, X, C, F, C, X. I don't know what it's called. CFX, there you go. It's still up? Okay. Interesting then, interesting. I'm gonna keep trying, just hold. Patience is a virtue, my friend. Is KFC down? Actually, I got KFC in the fridge, man. Thanks for reminding me. I had KFC last night. So I saw the new Avatar movie. I watched the new Avatar movie. Uh, it was all right. It was all right. I tell you what, I tell you what my problem, here we go. Okay, server's back, coming back on. No spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers, zero spoilers. I thought it was okay. However, it indulges a lot, like a lot. It's like, it knows it's a beautiful movie and it just, it, 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 it does a lot of the, oh, look how beautiful this movie is thing. You could trim that down to two and a half hour movie. You could cut 30 minutes out of that movie and be just fine. But it was good. Yeah, you know, I, 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 won't, I won't watch it again. But, you know, it was good. It was good. If you love the first one, you'll love the second one. There's no doubt about it. All right, loading in. I also watched a movie. <laughs> so I was talking to K-Sins. And K-Sins recommends me a movie, this fucking guy. He's like, watch a movie. It's called uh, Eyes Wide Shut. I'm like, okay, I'll watch it. Mate, I don't know what the fuck K-Sins is into. That guy's got some fucking problems, man. He's got some fucking problems. 20 minutes in, I'm watching some chick getting banged while her husband's like at the table for him. It's so fucking weird. And I'm thinking, what the fuck is this guy making me watch? <laughs> it was an alright movie though. It was okay. He trolled you. <laughs> it was all right. I heard that he didn't get to finish it properly. Like that wasn't going to be the final cut or something. Overall, not bad though. It was weird, but it, 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 it's it's a, it's a typical Kubrick film, right? It, it makes you think. Like you'll think about it like a few days after. Don't even bring up the Henry Cavill to me, man. It's sad stuff, dude, honestly. I feel so bad for... Like, I'm not even upset anymore that he's not going to be... Like, it sucks. I'm t I feel worse for him. Like, I feel worse for him more than I feel bad about him not being Superman. I mean, I'm able to see another Superman movie with him. You know what I mean? The poor guy, like, announces it. He's obviously very excited about coming back as Superman and then just gets, like, sacked, like, a couple weeks later. That's so sad. No more Witcher? <clears throat> I never watched Witcher. I don't know if that was good or not. But honestly... <clears throat> a lot of people are freaking out. Listen, let's be honest here, okay? Let's be perfectly honest. The DCEU is a fucking mess. It's full of different tones, different ideas. There was never a set plan. The, the Zack Snyder stuff, whether you like it or not, that tone should have been kept through the whole fucking thing. Like, just go with it. At that point, you're stuck with that tone, right? And I, I get some enjoyment out of those movies. But the radical changes and the different styles, and it, it's just so jarring. It, it didn't feel cohesive at all. <clears throat> So you know what? If you're going to reboot the whole thing, fine. It's whatever. Like, it sucks that Henry won't be back, but I'll tell you this. And you can bank on this. And, you know, someone can clip this and I'll be right yet again, because I always am. We'll see Henry as Superman again. We'll see him as... Listen, we'll see him as Superman again. We saw Brandon fucking Ralph back as Superman, okay? We'll, we'll see Henry again. In probably 10 years' time, he'll come back for a role as Superman. You, you watch. You fucking watch. We'll see him as Superman again. 
I'm, I'm certain of it. They do like a Kingdom Come fucking movie or something. Spectral! Thank you for the three months, dude. How are you doing? Before he's 50? I mean, he's only like 38, 39, right? Um, you can play Superman when you're 50. You can, it's just an older Superman. But you, you'll you'll see him come back for for like a uh, like a multiverse bullshit. It's like, look, it's a comic book, man. These are comic book movies. We, for God's sakes, we're getting a Michael, we're getting Michael Keaton back for this Flash movie. You're telling me Henry Cavill won't come back as Superman? Bullshit. He's he'll come back for something. They're just recasting because obviously they have a probably like a 15 year plan. And they want a young they want a young actor playing him, someone that's in their like late 20s or early 30s. They want a they want a young Superman. Is probably why they're doing that. They'll come he'll they'll come back. He'll come back when they realize how bad Superman is without him. I don't think I don't listen, the character's bigger than the actor, man. You get a good actor that looks the part. I mean I love Henry, okay? Don't get me wrong. I love Henry. I think he's a, a great Superman. However, if I'm being honest with you, some of his acting wasn't that great. And he lacked in the he lacked in the the Clark Kent role, man. I'm being honest, dude. And I love him. I wanted him to be Superman. He looks the part, man. He 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 is Superman. He looks like Superman. And he he's had some iconic moments and shit. Like I love him. I would have loved to see him back. But so, listen, some some of his line delivery is was kind of weird. And Clark Kent was lacking. And when, 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 you might be asking what line del delivery you're talking about. Listen, when he when he confronts Batman and he says, you don't understand, that line delivery, man, is always awkward and kind of cringy to me. <laughs> you don't understand. It, it was it was weird. It was kind of weird, okay? <laughs> I love him, okay? But we, if, if they can cast someone that looks like Superman, just, listen, he'll be fine, all right? Do you bleed? Okay, we don't talk about that. <laughs> the problem with Clark, his Clark Kent character was, is that it was just Superman. <laughs> like he didn't. That's what. That's what. That's what was great about Christopher Reeve. Christopher Reeve, man, his Clark Kent was so good. And that was kind of the point. Like people were like, oh, how can't how can't Lois Lane? Why can't she see that that Superman is Clark? Well, the whole point of those movies and the way that Clark Kent was acting was that he was so understated and, like, goofy that she never really noticed him. If you watch how she acts around him, she's always looking at something else. She's always focused on something else, and he's kind of, like, in the background, and she never pays much attention to him. Pete! I have returned from my Van Horn hiatus. Van Horn hiatus? How are you? I hear you're in Sisica. No, I'm not, buddy. I'm fucking free as a bird. Let's let's link up. Where did he send that from? Saint Denis. Well, well, well. We are seeing you everywhere today. Let's see. Pete, 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 Pete. Let's move it here. Wallaby. No, in fact, I am. Free as trendsetter. Have the best dress sets in the crossing. We'll oh, be fuck. heading to. Oh, hello. Rose. Hello, the fucking reunion there. How you doing, Ron? Hello. Fucking cuts uh, arrived. I'm doing right, mate. How are you doing, Jim? I'm not what too bad. Let's come back. Get out of here. Get out of here. What? Oh my god. Too much people. Too many people. God damn it, man. These men. People need to take conversations away from the Telegram office. It's not a goddamn convention in there, dude. Check your tele tele telegrams and get out. You want to have a conversation? That's fine. Fuck off somewhere. I've definitely never stood in the Telegram office and had a conversation, by the way. The 
cut his back now. Cut's dead as fuck, man. Cut's dead as fuck. I made a funny. Oh, look who it is. It's Fei Lin. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, making me serve those two extra hours. I appreciate that. Not mad at all. <laughs> no, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. We good. I'm just going to target you now is all. You're going to regret that. <laughs> I'm not a senior at the moment. Make sure that duty it's funny because I was having a conversation with Speedy before you showed up. I'm like, listen, as long as it's not Maple, Sanctum, or Malone, I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll be let out. And then Maple walks through the fucking door. I'm like, you know what? Fuck me, man. Why am I in Valentine? This is dangerous for me. I gotta leave. People might link me to Goose's death, and I don't, I don't, I don't need that in my life right now. You had the wrong time there. No, no, no. I didn't have the wrong time. I didn't have the wrong time. I was trying to get out two hours earlier because uh, um, Goldie was back in the crossing for like an hour. And I really wanted to have a scene with her uh, regarding Missy's death. So I was trying to get out two hours early to have that, but didn't work out. Womp womp. Yeah, it happens. It happens, man. How's Rudd react to the goose's death? I mean, well, Rudd's a, you know, that reminds me. Her funeral's in like an hour or so, right? I might have to log on to Rudd just to say a few words at the funeral. Just perma Tabitha, it's okay. Listen, if I perma another fucking deputy, the law already despise me, family. You don't understand. You've missed a lot, okay? People despise Wallaby in the department right now. And Tabitha's such a sweet gal. Like, I'd rather turn her bad and just make her, make her my Harley Quinn. I'd rather do that than kill her. She's a, she's a sweetheart. Who the f... That's Speedy? Oh, look who it is. The guy that didn't send the telegram, guys. <laughs> Was that Pete? Oh, no, it's Pete. Oh, God. What the fuck happened to your face? Same thing. What do you mean, same thing? But, but I already know the answer to that. The fuck does that mean? My face is the same as it was when I left. Exactly. You're, I don't you're... know what happened. You know what? I don't know what happened to it before. I don't think I ever really asked. You, you are, never mind. I'm gonna shut up. I'm sorry. I've been. I've been gone. I'm back. That's, that's all right. I gave. I gave you the flood horn. mustache, and you got it attached, huh? Well, I decided. I decided that I was going to trim it a little bit, and then just keep it on because it was really painful coming off. So I decided it's going to stick on for a little bit so it <laughs> falls off naturally. Meg, Tonya, thank you for the 13-month resub. Appreciate that. Well, it's good to see you again, friend. Yeah, I've, I've missed you. you. Too. I've missed you too. Um, is Eddie dead? No, he's... Uh, he's not well, though. Mind you, you I'm, shouldn't well, be going... You shouldn't be going to Valentine. It's dangerous yes. right now. I don't know if you heard everything. Wait, what do you mean? No, I haven't heard shit. All I really heard was that, uh, Goose stabbed Eddie. Yeah. And I'm also hearing that Goose is dead. Yeah, Goose is fucking dead. Here's Did you the kill thing. Her? Speedy killed her. Oh, shit. And Valentine are linking him with us. And as you know, she's very popular in the town of Valentine. Yeah. Yeah, I can, yeah that's bad. Hmm. Fuck. Don't worry, I got ideas. What the fuck were you doing there then? I actually don't know. I was in my own head. I just kind of rode out here. Oh, fair enough. I have a lot on my mind, Pete. I'm so glad I ran into you. I was about to go in there and ask directly what happened to Goose <laughs> and find out the whole thing from them. Terrible that idea. Was... Terrible yeah. idea. 
Anyway, what do you what do you ask me? You say you say something before I rudely interrupted y'all. I don't remember. Neither do I. It is good to see you though. Yes, yeah, it's good to see you too. You've missed a lot, but I guess so have I. Well, yeah, you've been you you've been serving some time again. Yeah. They got me for what happened to Ruth. Yeah. They charged me with attempted first degree murder. Oh, come on <laughs> now. I know. I'm a lot of things, Pete, but I'm I not incompetent. You, though, I, to, I did tell I did tell you we had this discussion. You 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 asked you know it's probably just torture, right? No, no. First degree murder. Hmm. He had a big fucking mouth. I made it a little bit bigger by blowing his cheek out. Mm -hmm. Pretty boy, Ruth. If I wanted him dead, he'd be dead. I don't yeah, attempt yeah, anything. Right. I just fucking do. Mm -hmm. Pretty boy ain't so pretty no more. But I have a funny feeling he ain't gonna keep his mouth shut anyway. Just fine. What is he? What do you mean? Is he in a coma or something? No, he's recovered from what I hear. Uh, no half after. I have plans for him. More plans? Okay. Different plans. All right. As long as it doesn't involve that gun, I think fate decided that one. That's kind yeah. of crazy. Ballsy motherfucker. Oh, yes, he has balls. I'll give him that. He has a fire in him. I have to respect it. Mm hmm. Fires can be nice, warm and cozy. It can also be dangerous. Oh yes, fires can turn into a blaze, and that'd be a shame. Like I said, I got ideas. All right. Well, when you want to let me know about them ideas, you let me know. Uh, going back though. Uh... So yeah, how is Eddie doing? You say he's not doing well. What, what, what he's in a coma. Oh fuck. He's stable though, from what I hear. Got a telegram from him saying I need you in Valentine. I only just got it today. That reminds me. I got a telegram from Gavin Summers who wants to see me. Gavin Summers, yeah, Summers, Summers gang, don't really know much about him. Old outlaw. <coughs> like a geezer? <clears throat> a real One of the geezers I respect. Yeah, damn. Which other geezers do you respect? I think that's about it. Yeah, Sarah. Hello, yeah. what's up? Fair enough. Good morning. Pete's back, thank God. Oh, people always talking like they know everything. They don't know shit. Is that Scout? It's the corridor. Wow, look at you. How you doing? How are you? Um, I'm doing alright. All things considered. Where are you headed? Um, I was going to Valentine to loiter by the church. What? It's a terrible idea. I'm trying to become closer to God. Well, you want to get you know, close, can, but you don't get that close. close. All right. Yeah, I, I can help you out with that right now. What? Was that your impression of God? What the hell was that? <laughs> no, no, I, I'm just saying I can shoot you. Oh. That'll get you closer to God. Oh, I thought you were doing myself like a kind service or something. 
It was, it, well, it was kind of, it could be, it could be seen as a mercy, Dakota. All right. Is Scout gonna be around, sir? I think so, yeah. All right, I found Rennie last night. Oh, thank God, is she alive? Yeah, she's resting at the, at the uh, slaughterhouse. How long did you search for? Not that long. Interesting. She was there when I got there. Oh. Wait, what happened to Reddit? Oh, that's a whole she, thing. Uh, yeah, it's a. I'm sure oh. we can have like a rendezvous and talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, they're better to off listen. to tell you than me. I wasn't there. Fair enough. How have you been, Pete? Are you dying? DG got gunned yes. down. Yeah. All right. See ya. They got gunned down because apparently they were they were no, it's robbing right. guns. I'm healing now. I was dying of for loneliness. That, for that order yeah, that we had. You guys. I feel much better. And That's um, the thing I've ever heard. they robbed the black company. What the fuck they call it? I can't remember. Um, and then the black oh, company thanks. tracked them down. I didn't say call me, I said they did. Demanded oh, to right, get their course. guns yeah, back, yeah. or at least one gun back. And then when uh, Eddie said no, they just lit them up. It wasn't red water, it was a different one. So now I've got to decide like what to do because their first instinct was to gun the whole gang down over a gun, right? Um. um how's things with Flood? My horse just hemorrhaged. What does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. I think something's wrong with it. You think your horse just hemorrhaged? Yeah, you I think I might up. have to put it down. <sighs> I want to talk to him. I want to talk to him. You want to go to the stable and just get it over with now? Get you a new one? I think I'm going to give it like a second chance at least, maybe. A few I more got, hours. I got some money on me. You know? There she is. Angel, how you get doing? Renny! <laughs> Please be nice. Without to warning. Uh, listen. Uh huh. Like the soup. Yeah. <sighs> Have we ever had, had that soup? It's cold, right? Or uh -huh. served cold? Yeah. I have ideas how to handle them, but I want to see what they have to say first. They're probably going to do the same thing to me. What, just gun me down mid-conversation? I mean, they could. I guess anyone can do that. It's not It's not hard to, uh, to do that. It's not like a hard thing to do. You can do it to anybody. Give me a... It's not going to gain you anything. War RP incoming. Yeah, you guys always think that, though. You always assume there's war RP on the horizon. Hello, deputy. Oh, there he is. Perfect timing. Let's go. Hello. Hi. How are you? Oop. How are you doing, Scout? Hey, Scout. I am. I'm here. Well, that's nice. Hi, Pete. I am also here, Scout. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I'd like you to fill in, Pete, about what happened at mm -hmm. Shady Bell. We're gonna head okay. to the Bastille and see if they're around. I'd like to have a word with them. All and right. The good news is I found Rennie, she's fine. Oh, thank God. She's resting up in the slaughterhouse. All right. Uh, well, Pete. Um, we have a gun order 
to to get. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this letter for now. The telegram and just observe. You did. So we were working on that. and Dakota. Yeah, I'm. All right. And I'm just gonna observe. Two of the individuals that we borrowed weapons from were at the telegram station in Saint Denis. Uh huh. And we robbed them and met up at Shady Bell. That dip, I think of the five months, man. And what, 10, 15 minutes later, maybe, Dakota? Hell yeah, man. Oh, yeah, it was about like 15 ish. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Uh, some... I don't know why I made that specific sound, but. <laughs> Be detected. Oh fuck. Okay. Jumping back in. <laughs> Bad Australian day. Oh, I don't fucking know, man. I couldn't tell you, dude. Who fucking knows, man? I gotta talk to we gotta to talk to Flood today too about the whole thing that happened at his store. Son of a bitch, that's gonna be interesting. Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry Christmas! Sorry about that. Yep. Oh, and so, firefight before we could even finish the deal. Pretty much. Oh, they told the story. Perfect. In mid conversation, just started blasting. So. And then. When, uh, when was uh, this? Um. Uh, I want to say like four, five days ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. Was this before or after Eddie got stabbed? This was uh, before, long before. Oh, before. Yes. Got yeah, a couple okay. of days, and then uh, they took. Uh, four of us to the doctor and then they left Rennie out there. We went back for her and then couldn't see her nowhere So we just kept coming back and then Wallaby found her last night and she was out there by herself She was not in yeah, good yeah. condition Yeah, and I found a doctor and Took her back to the slaughterhouse and she's sleeping on my bed Yeah, so now we have three that are down and out for now. Uh, Eddie, Alvin, and Rennie. Yeah, damn. Yeah. Well, luck we have you, Pete. You're worth three just by yourself. Yes. Well, at least Surprising. you three. You see threes. What? I don't know where I was going with that. Never mind. I think he's making fun of your goggles. And the way that your eyes stick out of your head. Like I was also making fun of the drug situation, what? but never mind. Oh, right. So I'm just only making my fun of your goggles then. My eyes out of my head like a hamster. What are you talking about? <laughs> I got regular eyes. All right. Yeah. Would you like to protect them? Let's out. We're going to go to the Bastille and see if they're there. If any of them are. That's right. Uh, right. Uh, I know of two names, one being Jameson and one being Jules. Uh, Love life. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I know them. Jameson rings a bell. Jameson was that fellow who uh, stopped us in Saint Denis and said that he wanted to have a conversation with Wallaby at the slaughterhouse that one time because mm -hmm. of the Valentine Saloon robbery. Yep. Same folk. I do have a rifle on my horse, but I've got ammo we were, for it. We helped in the killing of uh, <laughs> Mr. Black. And talked to the. Uh, yeah. Mm. 
God damn. I did see yeah, the clip of it. Yeah. It looked like it, it looked like the guy that initiated the fight he ran walked to the side down. so he could oh, line them all up in me. one fucking fan, which is you know. We'll have a conversation. We'll see if any any of them are here. People don't like getting robbed, who knew? <laughs> That's true, man. That is true. It's just funny that I'm gone for like six, seven, eight days, whatever it was, and Eddie's in charge and instantly he gets stabbed. He's in a coma. Gets the whole gang shot up. Don't know who that was. It was Santa. not his fault I'm, I didn't see the whole thing but I can almost guarantee you that Eddie had played a significant part in that thing happening but in saying that gunning down six people over a gun is interesting the kid is back the kid is back how you doing juicy juice yeah juicy monkey hey though man thank you for 13 months Smokey, there he is. Not even sub to me, man. This, this is my guy. This is my friend, boys. This is my friend right here. I'm sub to him, but he ain't, he ain't share the he ain't share the sub back. See, what a prick. <laughs> How you doing, Smokey? Get out of your coma, bro. Doesn't look like anyone's here. Smells a little bit right. I got to, um, we must change that. Well, someone was here 27 hours ago. Doesn't really help us much. Long Sam Yeah, duh. Oh, Smokey. I was fucking with you, dude. Oh, what a guy, man. Some motherfuckers just turned up. Two motherfuckers just turned up. Oh, lovely. Thank you, Smokey, for the five minutes of subs, dude. That was unnecessary, but thank you, dude. I love you, man. What do you hear? What do you say? Oh dear, oh dear. Are you doing Wallaby? Yeah, not too bad. Wallaby. Yeah. Oh, hey. Bonjour. Are you, uh, part of the black company? Nope. nope. Don't even know what the fuck that is. Yeah, neither do I, really. I hear young Pusher's son huh. does not have Weird. his father's eyes. Hey, Any other context? Gun, it turns out. They've got your gun. No, 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 they're quick on the draw. Your, your, your horse just put its head Gun in man. three windows. I see. But how are yours? You don't want good? Not too bad. Not what's, too shabby. Oh, what's your... fucking, fucking hell. Who's that? He's a bit... And this is saying something yeah. coming for me, but he's a bit on the weird side. Yes. He's already on his knees. Great. Fucking hell. 
This is no Valentine. Um, I've... Wallaby, have you seen Amadeo around? Can't say I have. Shit. Yeah, we saw all the horses here. We thought they'd be in here. Fuck. No. We could go back to the house, Norman, if you fancy it. Yeah, I guess. You might I'm want to try the first. Braithwaite Manor. The Braithwaite Manor? Yeah, I hear he stays up there. Huh. Mm. Alright. Yes to me. Yeah, I thought it was the yes. Mirror's Manor. Alright, we'll check there. Thank right. you, uh, Wallaby. Of course. I think it was. I think it is the mayor's manor. Oh well, whatever. Goose chase. <sighs> Fuck. All right, we'll come back later for this shit. Are you a dead gift now? Grab like a yet. like a shovel and go dig him out or something and pray. You say he's gonna burst into pieces. Only if you try and pull him out. But if you can dig him out, then that's all right. Do you have an army of people with shovels? No. Dang it. Can I hire you? I think Amadeo wanted to, to dig your horse out of the ground? Yeah, I'll pay good money. Five hundred dollars. Each. <laughs> yeah, each. Oh. Some shovels, they ain't come this cheap, This guy doesn't you know? have five hundred dollars, period, guys. I have three cigarettes. Uh, no. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Them. Let me hold no, on. We can chain let's... smoke them. I eat. No. Dang it. Well, do you have any lessons today? Actually, I'm going to run into you, Pete. You know who we haven't run into yet? You? Ed. We have not run into Ed since yes. we killed Monroe, yes. which is crazy because we always used to run into her. Is that Betty? Moretti? What do you hear? What do you say? Just waiting for the gentleman inside to finish Hello, uh, the time go left off? changing his clothes. Oh, you're with them. I'm not with them. Do you know the Black Company? I've never heard of them. Yeah, that seems to be a thing. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Where did guys in the slaughterhouse? Ah! What the fuck? The fuck are you doing? Fuck it. Fuck it. What? Who? Me? Us? Why did that fella just run and scream something about the slaughterhouse? I, I, I don't know. He's confused. You like his Wolby's coat? Thank you, man. This fucking horse is stuck in the ground. When it does dig it out. <laughs> oh shit. I don't know. I just gave him drugs and told him to leave. I that old. Hard drug. I don't know. Yeah, okay. He keeps coming back and asking me for lessons. I gave him some lessons and I was hoping he would go out there and fucking, you know, spread his fucking wings, but he keeps coming back and asking for more lessons. Oh, that reminds me. Dakota, we got to talk. All right. Am I in trouble? Maybe. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You telegram that old fella, Wallaby. Which old fella? His name again? Oh, right, Summers. I, I got to yeah, telegram yeah, him, yeah. and I also got to telegram Flood. Good idea. Uh... Yeah. You're not gonna like this news, or maybe you will, I don't know. Uh, Summers is dead. Did 
You can still telegram him, I guess, but. What news was that? Gavin Summers. Yep. Yeah, Gavin, Gavin Summers, Summers is dead. Is Gosh, dead. I think he was shot by law or something, was one of them saying. Which law? Um, I got a name, but I forgot it. I heard cash. That was the yeah, one that name was I it. heard. That was it, cash. All right. Thank you for telling me. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Dude. Release. This is the last thing you sent me. When are you out? We should talk. Gavin Summers. Damn. Fuck. Blood. Wallaby. I'm out. We need to talk. Let me know when you are around. Scout up. Don't it's, don't tell me. I don't wanna I don't wanna hear it. You're not slipping icy on all the over ice. the place. Damn, dude. Gavin Summers, bro. Just scrape that ice off the sidewalk. Interesting. I don't know what you're talking about. End of an era, bro. <laughs> Wallaby had a interesting relationship with Gavin. Because Gav Gavin was kind of like, he took Wallaby under his wing a little bit without like officially doing that. And I think Gavin is like, out of the two people. Already. Time sure does fly. Thanks for the fantastic entertainment. I'm loving Thank you, server. Duffy. I can see why you got so addicted to wild <laughs> RP. No doubt, well, dude. Then. No doubt. Thank you for the 24 months, man. Two years. Ah, uh, well, we gotta talk to Dakota. And then we're gonna look mm. for, uh, see if Flood's about to fix whatever happened. What'd you do now, Dakota? Um... Wallaby looked up to, when he first came to the crossing, he loved like Billy the Kid, Jesse James, uh, all them, Butch Cassidy, Sundance Kid. Uh, but also we threw, we threw Jack Kettleman and Gavin Summers into that mix. And Jack instantly shunned Wallaby and like beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Summers is the one person he looked up to that actually respected Wallaby back, you know what I mean? And that kind of meant a lot. So... I don't want to reveal like how Wallaby feels about it because he's very distant from things right now. But um, that is interesting news for him. But not unexpected either because Wallaby understands what happens in this life. Wallaby twisted, yeah. That's a horse. Just randomly in front of the slaughterhouse. It's two horses. Who the fuck is here? Oh, it's this fucking guy. Guys, don't say meta in my chat. That's why the fuck is this fellow here? This is where so he was trying to get question. us to dig out his horse. But why was it here? I, I, I think he was looking for Pete and Alvin. And then he went inside and then somebody put his horse in a hole outside. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Alright, well. Lucky you, Scout. <sighs> you and I had to be get babysit him. Yeah, that's right. You and Pete get to fix that problem. <laughs> Dakota, come with me. All right. Uh, all right, come on, Pete. We got babysitting duty. 
Ishmael. <laughs> it's Ishmael. I kind of feel bad for him. Sorry. About that telegram you sent me. Which one? About the trains. Oh, right. What do you got on that? Uh, let me... I took this off a, a telegram station. Apparently some conductor is doing daily trains now with a schedule and all. Daily trains, I'm boys. Letting it be known to the public. Monday through Saturday, departing from Hannesburg Station, 12 AST. That's fucking early. Yeah, it is early. Hannesburg, St. Denis Rose, Valentine, St. Denis Rose, Valentine. Every day, huh? Apparently, yeah. Interesting. Fuck, it's EU hours. Alright. We'll keep this. This is worth having. Mm -hmm. Good work. Thank you. How you been? Overall. Um, I've been okay. I think it's been, I don't know, difficult, I guess. That, uh, the thing with Edwin and Emily Easy, he got stabbed in the throat and I stitched him up the best that I could, but having a man choke and bleed it out on your hands ain't really, you know, something I deal with every single day, so it's hard to continue with that in my mind. Are they beating it up? What are they doing over there? I, I don't know, assaulting a horse maybe? Have you tried a lasso? Yes. Have you I'm tried kicking it? Hand. Yes. N don't kick him. Have you tried shooting it? No, don't no. shoot him. That was the last the resort. Kid. I mean, shooting him will fix the problem. Well, what are we waiting for then? We'll, fr horse. we'll free him from his shackles. Yeah, we'll free him That's from true. his shackles. Is this the only way? Yes. It's either you oh, shoot no. it and kill it now, or Do it's it. just gonna slowly die in this hole. Oh, no. Can you get your, can you, oh. oh! There. Fixed. Already pre-buried, if you think about it. I mean, you fixed it. Now drag that carcass off the fucking property. Why? Wow. There's so many other carcasses around here. It's at the entrance way, Pete. Oh, well, Come yeah, can we, just, can we not just bring it to, the, to the others? Rope it up, drag it out. I mean, yeah, take they, it to the pile. That's right, take it to the pile. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> out the back. Oh, jeez. Okay, you know what? You want the fucking job done right. Out of the way. I got it. You're taking him the wrong. Okay, well. Oh, he's glitched. Yeah, he's. Alright, you know what? He's fucked. <laughs> just, just, just leave him. Just fucking leave him. <laughs> That horse is, uh, mm. But I haven't been here. You need dynamite? Oh man, if I only could use dynamite like that, that'd be sick. Unfortunately, you can only use dynamite for a bank. <clears throat> it was a gift. Unfortunately, your horse is now gone. You're gonna need to buy a new one. Do you have money for that? Yeah. All right. Good, buy a better one. I'll be right back. Mustangs are overrated. Mustangs are overrated. 
get the dynamite from Gorma. Man, everyone's going to Gorma now, man. Everyone. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> Gorma's nice. Well, we haven't been yet with, with Wallaby. Wallaby hasn't set foot on Gorma yet. It's the pina coladas. Tabitha Thorn, man. All right, so we got Scout's rifle. We're gonna give that back. That's a shotgun from the Black Company. That's from the train line. Okay. And I got five bonds. Fuck, I forgot about the five bonds. Oh, that reminds me. Did Pete give that guy all the bonds? We're going to have to ask him. Just notice Wallaby's coat. Very nice. Oh, thank you. Send them a telegram. Sorry, who? Who was I speaking about? I wonder if Tabitha Thorne sang all. I reckon we could turn Tabitha bad, man. She's too she's too nice. There's something hidden. She's got some hidden dark secret. <clears throat> oh, I mean telegram the Dicenzos, but the, we're not selling paper to Dicenzos anymore. Someone has trust issues. Wow, what a dick. What happened? I asked for his name, and he said, that's none of your business. <laughs> hey. Then he asked who you were, and I said, that's none of your business. Scout, this is yours. Mm -hmm. Huh. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. What's the one on your back? Uh, it is a uh, SCSD. All right, hand that to me. I'll swap you. All right. Hey, Pete. Yep. Did you give that guy all the paper? Um. <laughs> Tell me you did, man. No, you have five. And, and last time I saw you. Goodbye, Barbara. Um, whoa, whoa, right, right. But, but you, you took the money from him. But did you give him the, did you give him the goods? Yeah. Tell, tell. How much did you give him? All of it. Like the 50, whatever the fuck it was? Yeah, and you have the five. All right, all right, I'll get Which the five. Which he needs. Okay. okay, I'll get the five. At some point. He's around, I'm pretty sure he's... Perfect, that's what we're doing then. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, for a second they minute, I thought that Pete just completely forgot. Get Pavis. And Wallaby doesn't even know Pavis is back, though. I did walk by her, I think... On Ruth, not Ruth, sorry, on Rudd. Was that, was that, that was her, right? In the white hat? I don't know, man. <coughs> Fuck. <clears throat> Dude, when I, when I spend like more than three or four days not doing Wallaby's voice, <coughs> it's a struggle when I come back. It, it, I don't know why, but all it takes is like three or four days of not doing the voice and it's like, I got to relearn how to do it and it's just a pain in the ass. <clears throat> Five bonds. We're going to keep these telegrams because I think they're important. The daily trains as well. We'll keep that. We need some rifle ammo is what we need. Thank you, Skaven, Take for the... Free base those bucks. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Thank you for the three months. How you doing, mate? Should have done more RP with Wallaby and Siska. <laughs> put them in the document folder. You can't. You can only put letters. Which fucking sucks, man. You can't put telegrams in there. You can't put books in there, which really sucks, man. Really sucks. Honestly, it's a, it just makes it a waste because if you can only put pages in there, you might as well just have a fucking book. 
with all the information in it. It's the same goddamn purpose. Actually, you can fit more pages in a, one of those big books. All right, let's go see if this paper man's around. All right. <clears throat> Did you, uh... Did you... What are you walking around with a fucking knife out for? I was laying with it. All right, all right. Well, don't play around with it with me around, okay? Well, okay. Question. Did you give the money to Flood? Yeah. Plus oh. 500 uh, extra dollars of my own money. All right, so how much was that in total? Oh, wait. Wait, no, no, no. It was only 400, so two grand flat, I think. Was it? No, I it think. was way more than two grand. I'm sure of it. What do you mean? Was it no, two grand? No, no, no. It, it, for the 50, 30 each, one. F wait, 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 wait. I think it might have been 2.3. 2.3, okay. We got $300. Wait, no. Pete, 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 stop thinking. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Get, get on your horse. It's fine. Wait a minute. <laughs> it was like two grand. Sorry about your horse. It's okay. Thank you for putting it down cleanly. <laughs> that reminds me. I gotta reload my gun. Oh man. Failin, by the way, it's good to see you back on the server. New hat? No, it's the same hat. Oh, we're bringing Special him. We're, we're bringing him here. along. God oh God damn it! You shouldn't be surprised at everything. Every nice thing someone does for you. You're so good at helping every type of character. I'm. Even, think the kind words, but I. Uh, burnout was real. Gen yeah, yeah, I feel that. Fair enough, but. If RP's been, be been good for you recently, it's been good. It's been good. Very uh, I'm blessed because uh, when I get stuck getting burnt out, I usually get arrested and get benched for like three months. So, uh, you know, it gives me a chance to uh, recharge my batteries. <laughs> no, but all, all jokes aside, I know what it's like. Um, I've pushed through you want to stop and a few. Have a with that guy? Which guy? That fucking that guy on the that man is the just lurking. Field. Where? I didn't fucking see him. White yeah, horse in, in the, the field fields. Oh, him. Oh, sure. It's the same guy watching us at the... Hey, Santa. How you doing? Buddy. Pardon me. I've got enough on the side of you. Oh, well, look who it is. It's Sheriff Hart. Oh, you're right. Alive and well. Last time I saw you, I think I shot you. I've been in a hospital bed ever since. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. But let's be honest, if it wasn't you, it would have been me, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was it. Uh, we gave you every chance to give yourself up. Oh. Oh, you sound so defeated. I, uh... I've been in a coma for a long time. And I woke up today... And I, I wasn't the only person hurt that guy. No. The Paul Marshall. Proud of yourself. Wear that on your sleeve like a badge of honor, huh? Actually, no. He was a good man. Oh, I agree with you. He was. He was a good man doing his job. What did he get for it? What's coming to all of us? Yeah, but that's not your goddamn choice to make, is it? Well, he had a choice too. When you become a lawman, 
you know the rules. You know the game that you are gonna play. You Why set the goddamn the city on fire. What the fuck did no, you no, 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 no. Not the city. Just the bank. I don't know how many other people die. You don't see past the things you do. You don't see the goddamn knock-on effects that you fucking put into motion. <laughs> you think you set a fire the bank. What about the buildings next to it? Oh. You don't look farther than your blinkered fucking what's in front of you. Yeah. I don't see anything other than what you want. Well, I can say the same for you. You don't see past just trying to stop and put me in jail. I'll think about why I do the things I do. I don't want to put you into jail. I don't want to fucking stop you from hurting people. Oh. You're going to kill me. <laughs> fucking do it. I'm here. You could end it right now. I think if you shot me right here in the forehead, I think you might save a dozen people. <laughs> I swear don't to God, me. don't you fucking tell me. Sure, smart than that. He knows that if he does that, well, ain't gonna be not much, not much left of him either. That's what I don't understand about you, lawman. This game of chess we play. You take your oath. You become a piece on the board. You know the rules of the game you play, but when one of the pieces gets knocked off, you act all surprised. Like you're above it. We're all fucking killers. Just on different sides of the board. It's nothing personal, Hart. I liked Monroe. I thought he was a good man. I was just a little quicker. But as I said, if it wasn't him, it would have been me. And you'd be celebrating my death. Like you do with all the criminals that die. You think we celebrate any of those deaths? Oh, I've think seen it. Party. Oh, I've seen it. It's probably your blanket view of things again. My blanket view of things. What was it that Marty Malone said to me? Oh, he was gonna dig up my bitch ex-girlfriend. Oh, yeah. You're the good guys, right? We're all Who fucking bad. Who was it that bad. watched you weeping over your bleeding fucking girlfriend? And instead of ripping you away in cuffs, I let you. I treated you like a man. Did you do the same to Monroe? <laughs> oh, yes. What do you expect, Hart? Do you expect to live this violent life and not catch a fucking bullet? Hmm? Why not become a butcher? Or maybe a clerk? Maybe you could sell candy for a living. You're in the blood business, my friend. I'm in the business of making sure people get what is common. Oh, there it is. The all high and mighty gets to decide what someone has coming to them. Like I said, I'm right here. Give me what's coming to me, Hart. Maybe it's coming sooner than you expect. I'll be seeing you. Soon enough. Mm -mm. Don't make the same mistake as Monroe. Know when your time's up, old man. Take his name out of your goddamn f- <laughs> It was nothing personal. So stop taking it that way.
my team speed crashed. He must have said something, but you know what? I'm glad he got the last line. I didn't... Let me just get it back up. <laughs> I wonder what he said. I'm going to have to ask the group what he said. There we go. Sorry about that. I had something in my ears. What did he say? He said something like... Like keep your eyes open or something something or else i'm gonna open. do something if he said something after that it sounded so like, a, so like aggressive. a veiled threat but not a threat that i'm not sure i like might a mystery threat to me veiled as poetry him. sounds no, like criminal threat. criminal threats to me it sounds like exactly yeah <laughs> we, should, we should put him god in damn jail. corruption going on <laughs> <laughs> Dude, pandas, man. What a scene. That was so good. Ah. Ah. Love it, man. Woo. He said something about killing me, man. I swear to God. We should we should press charges. <laughs> I love how he was, like, sitting around watching us. That's great, man. Oh, what a guy. What a guy, man. Guy comes out of a comb and has the gall to wear something like that. Looks warm. Great scene with Panda. Good to see <laughs> Wallaby out. Uh, Blue Devil well. Red, thank you, man, for 15 months. It did look warm. That was a good scene, man. I loved that. I loved that so much. That was so good. That's what I love, man. Like the Monroe death, right? I love how it spark has sparked some of the the yeah. uh, lawmen to like, yeah, be personally invested in what happens to Wallaby okay. now. What I love that. I love that so much. I I, I really like that. Oh okay. Ah. <sighs> Ah, oh, flood, motherfucker. Alright. I'm gonna go check my telegrams. This conversation's gonna be interesting. We haven't spoken of flood since uh, Eddie, like, took all his friends hostage. Alright, keep this in mind. I haven't spoken of flood since you took all his friends hostage. All right. can, you give me a, can you do me a favor and just give me, like, one minute then? Yeah, Cause I need to, I need to take a piss. Of course you do. You are, your fucking problems. <laughs> that was heavy. Another heavy scene him bound. Oh god, I don't know. He might be chill by now. He might, he might be, he might be chill out, man. I don't know. You did tell Eddie to carry on with the plant. Why would someone dump five fucking lemons at the counter, man? Oh, that's annoying. For fuck's sake, dude. Okay, bank. Okay. Okay, we're looking good. <laughs> looking good, man. Grab him. I don't... What the... Oh, fuck. Fine, I'll, I'll grab the fucking lemons. There. Happy? Wait. Oh, they're glitched. They're glitched lemons. Never mind. They're glitched, Sarah. Stop capping me, man. Hey, do you need ammo? I'm car I'm gonna go get that in a moment. That's fine. I have a hundred rifle and a hundred handgun that somebody gave me. I don't need it. Oh yeah, I'll take the, I'll take the rifle, sure. Thank you very much. You're welcome. He's, he's just fucking offering. Is he leaving? He's leaving. All right, I can wait for Pete, and then we're going to talk to Flood. and smooth this right. thing over. I haven't spoken to him since, uh, what she is dead. Mm -hmm. Have you? 
Uh, no. We very much purposely avoided him yesterday. <laughs> Let me send a message to pandas, man. Give me a second. Oh, wait, wait. Paid has issues. Like, like with I his just, brain, or no, he just he's pissing constantly. Why does he take such long pisses? I don't know. Why is he like that? He's got I'm issues. I'm a quick, quick peer. I could teach him a thing or two. How would you do that? Yeah, tell us how it's you would teach him that. Pinching it. Oh, Stop are you gonna the flow. are you gonna do that Make for him or? No. I'm... All right. He's like Ishmael is to him, but me to him. I'm going to teach him a few things. By pinching it. Yes. I, I don't even want to think about this. Just me neither. Just pinch it when you got business. I'm mean... talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, pay for fuck's sake. Just stand here with your arms crossed. It's like dripping like a faucet. <laughs> Drip. 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 Maybe that's his problem. Maybe he's got like a blockage and it only falls out drip by drip. Is he pissing? You guys are freaks. No, but, no, you you're like the fucking freak. You piss you 50 like times. 50 times a day you're urinating. I, there's the first time I pissed today. Is it? Put it away, He's will you, Pete? Too. Put it away, for going. fuck's sake. Okay. Wow. All right. Wow? I wasn't looking, I swear. I think you beat my record, Pete. Yeah. Good for me. Alright, let's try, not try to make a scene here with so many of us. Alright. Tell him the fuck off. <laughs> Do we... Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. In general. Flawed. Been so long. It is, how are you? Yeah, come here. Come on. Yeah. I've missed you. Miss you too. We have uh, a lot to talk about. Yeah, we really do. Would you like to have that here or someplace else? Pete, you step off these premises <laughs> or I will beat you to an inch of your life. I'm so... This is... Pete, Pete, uh, Pete. Down the stairs. I am. I'm down the stairs. On the ground. On the ground. One more step. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Would you like to have this somewhere else? Yeah. I think I would. Let's go through the back. Go around the side. You yeah, yeah, I figured. Yep. Me, man. <laughs> man from the store. Uh, so you hate to see it, man. Mm -hmm. This is a fake Wait, mustache, you, know you yeah, my, faker. My mustache. Fa this is the disguise. <laughs> I'm wanted right now. But for what? For everything. How? Fred, because what's I haven't everything? been in town. I haven't been arrested. Okay. <laughs> All right. How, so how do we? How, let, okay. Well, let's just go over what the fuck happened, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Would you like me to start? I think I would like that, Pete, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mr. Flood, now. Oh, God. Um, well. Strong start, Pete. Keep going. <laughs> no, I just need to think about what I say before I say it. Because, you know. I'm going to start over. All right. Mr. Flood. We fucked up. All right, we fucked up. I had no idea that there was going to be people working in the store. We should have assumed. We should have assumed. But we didn't. 
Man, we were in a state of, well, to be quite frank, panic. And uh, we did what we did. I am sorry for that. Sorry that your friends had to go through that. Sorry that we scared them. Sorry that we brought that to your business. I'm sorry that we even, yeah, used that from the get-go, to be honest. Uh, yeah, they didn't deserve uh, nine. And, well, they didn't get nothing, but I know. They got scared. They got guns pointed in their faces or whatever. I apologize on behalf of the Denning gang. And Eddie, too. Even though he's absent right now. I see. I don't know what else you want me to say. A mistake was made. A decision was called in a very short space of time with a limit with what we thought was a limited, a very limited time frame. So we did what we did. Yeah. Please don't punch me. What's that? Uh, $100. Useless now. Burnt. Reparations. Wow, 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 wow. What do you mean? I would say that if this happens again, weird birds, I swear. I don't care about any money. I'm a man that lives by principle. People that I care for. Now, I care for you, kid. I care for the people in that store. I care for my wife. I care for the people who are in this Peanut. town. Damn it. I would rather burn a hundred dollars than any of those people being hurt. Peanut, fuck off. Including you, including Missy. God rest her soul. And I thought, well, I took $7,000. Hey, not fuck off. And I looked into a fire. And I thought, how quick would that son of a bitch go up? Ooh. A forge like that. I mean, we just throw that in. We throw some coke in there, uh, get it going. That, 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 that forge can right incinerate a couple thousand dollars. Now, why would you go under something like that? Because actions need to have consequences. Now, I didn't do Peanuts. it. I didn't do it, keep in mind. Get the fuck out of here. Nor am I going to seek any form of upset or anger. Dude, she's right. She's tangled in the Missy fucking cables. Hey, you not. Give me a second, guys. And I loved her greatly. That is why I do not seek vengeance or anger upon Edwin for his foolishness. Particularly considering his recent state. Because Missy loved him. And in her final words, he loved you all. So, I gave each of my employees $100, told them this wouldn't happen again, and we're good. Yeah, talk. 
our money and give it to them. No, I gave the money from my own amount. I that hundred dollars is the stuff I burned just out of my fucking frustration. I thought I would burn the everything else, but well. Awesome. That was a mistake. There was a miscommunication. And knee jerk reactions. You know how people get under pressure, right, Flood? Well, See, here's the thing, I can normally forgive that, but when two of the people presently with this outfit were party to the brutal murder of one of my employee's good friends and associates, huh? that kind of leaves an upset. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Flood. Skip Dakota, mean? how was your feud with the Kerrigan Ranch when you were Two Snakes' crew? Oh, um, not amazing. Mm -hmm. Not amazing. Days. Lean to the death of whom? Uh, Danny? Danny Kerrigan. Kerrigan, the exact same man I came into the crossing with. Have I ever mentioned that to y'all? Uh, no, sir. Have I ever sought retribution for Danny Kerrigan's death? Not that I'm aware of. I have not. So when you show up, and you are party to terrorizing one of my employees who oh. had ties to that family. Wonderful woman, keep in mind. Wonderful. Oh, links back to Baz, bro. How am I to mend that bridge when the people that tormented her and were part of her upset come back up, put her in ropes, and then bring her to a house, brandishing firearms and such? How am I supposed to make that person feel safe? Now, now. Now, I'm, I'm just impressing the gravity as this is no slight mistake. I understand that, but it must be clear. Whatever feuds they had in the past, they were under a different regime. I doubt they had any personal problem with this Danny Kerrigan. But they're with me now. And I know that. I'm simply explaining the level of distress on my employee and how my anger perhaps came over me when I heard the initial news. Well, we can understand that. Your friends, your family were put in harm's way. And for that I apologize and it won't happen again. We owe you a favor. No, Let's... you don't owe me nothing. No, 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 no. Yeah, we do. We do. We'll take this sad song and make it better. If your family or friends need help, I'm sure me and my people have no problem in insisting. You say it won't happen again, Ken, I'll take your word then. And why? You are like Ken. Is there any possibility of lifting this ban? Yes, though I would say perhaps don't come around for a little bit just to give time to the injury. I will have a word with my employees. All right, agreed. And other news. Uh, would you be interested in a bolt action rifle? Yeah, I would. Let's 
God, do we have that or is that with Eddie? I have it, it's all right. I'll go get it. All right. Make sure it's polished. All right. I'm truly sorry, Fawn. Nah, it's all right. I had a grand scheme and I gave Eddie full control of part of that scheme. And you know how Eddie be? That I do, which is why I won't <laughs> hold it against him. He's like a firecracker that you light up and it falls to its side. You don't know what the fuck's gonna happen, but it ain't gonna be pretty. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> That's good to see you again. I thought they were gonna lynch me. Yeah. But you got him? Oh, I got him. Good, fuck him. I put a gun in his mouth, pointed against his cheek, and pulled the trigger and made his mouth bigger than it already was. <laughs> <laughs> Guess he ain't that pretty no more. Oh no, he's completely fucked up. He had blood all over. Oh, yeah. Shame. Couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Who are we talking about? Deputy, senior deputy Ruth. Oh yeah. Yeah. You had a front row seat to the whole thing. Yeah. Have you been arrested for that? No. Oh well. Someone's getting bent over today, probably. Yeah. They had me at four hundred and forty days. Get ready for that one. Four hundred You're gonna Good. be getting a That is a fur. mustache, Pete. What you say? It is a mustache. And I must do it. <laughs> it was inspired by you, Flood. Oh, yeah, thanks. See, I had Tell to, I had to dress Tell up as Earth. you. I had to dress up as you for the job. I believe yeah, one of your yeah, employees. Yeah, that actually, actually worked pretty well, way. apparently. <laughs> because a random customer came in and saw it, and like, oh, I saw you working there. And I'm like, no, I wasn't. I wasn't around. Oh, you were. It well, was a perfect really disguise. Really Apparently, Absolutely. if I need a body double, I will contact you. <laughs> I was gonna make sure I get this absolutely perfect next time. There'll never be a next time. Never. No, but it's not gonna be a next time, Pete. What the fuck are you doing? No, but just in case. All right. You know how many people have tried to dress up in me as Rob Banks and people before? <laughs> it's not a bad strategy. All right, that bolt mm. action. Mm -hmm. Flood, do you by any chance own any blue hats? I do. Interesting. What the hell is this? <laughs> I love Pete. Yeah, I love Pete too. Look at that. Breath, breath of the Condemned. Yeah, they've always very got spiritual. those very spiritual names. You can tell it was owned by probably a ranger. Was it owned by a ranger? I don't fucking know. I ain't too sure. I didn't ask. She wasn't in ranger clothing. The ranger had a Lancaster on her, so I don't think so. Mm. So what well, do you think? Um, you're selling this or giving it? <laughs> oh. Is that the fave you want to cash in? No, no, I was just curious the way you said get get a rifle. I wasn't sure. I'll give you give three hundred bucks for it. Three hundred. Flawed. Flawed. Four fifty. Four hundred. Flawed. We know you're gonna get at least six hundred out of this. Not with Breath of the Condemned Edge, don't it? I would buy it just for that reason. Just for that reason. I learned a lesson that day just reading that gun. But what else has it got work to? It's got some, uh, <laughs> it's got some markings it on it, right? It has a wrap on it. That's right. All right, so it might be worth $900. You take off a couple <laughs> of hundred for the name. 900 no, I think we're overshooting <laughs> this. It's not that <laughs> It looked pretty. to me like all the metal on it was blacked out. Yeah, it did look a little blacked out. It is blacked out. 
Look at that's, that. An expensive considering that it's it comes stock blacked out, the that's trigger top has of the line flawed. Oh the yeah, the receiver, trigger is not. You're the right. It's and gold. It's has solid metal. gold. <laughs> solid gold. Okay, maybe not solid gold. No, I'm not sure. It might be fool's gold. 450. It Come is. on, flood. You can do that. <sighs> All right. Beautiful. Now tell me, when's the next auction happening? I don't know. I have some guns I want to get back. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, they, they're giving me like two days notice now and you have to, uh, RSVP for a, uh, certain spot. Oh, well, I, I don't, don't even know the spot in advance. I don't intend on attending. If you let me know a couple of days before, that'd be great. I, uh, I will try. Um, but like I said, they don't even give me the date, the time and date. Well, they give me the time, not the place, okay. uh, until like the day of, right. or even like an hour before. Okay. When was the last one? Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago. <clears throat> three? Yeah, three weeks. So, should be coming up soon, but they might skip it for the season. All right. Okay. Well, you keep us posted on that. Have you heard anything else? I well, know Gavin Summers is dead. Yeah, I heard that. There's wars going on with uh, the Divine Crew and the Chinzo family. They're the, wait, wait, wait. The, the, it's called the Divine, Divine Crew? I don't know what they call themselves. I think they call themselves the... The, they called themselves the Unhung or something way back when. What? When Sam Bass was around? Or... I thought it was Sam's Club. No, that, that was before. Oh, for fuck's sake. They tried being arms dealers. They called themselves Sam's Club. You buy a membership <laughs> and you get everything you need. <laughs> what the fuck? It, Sam Bass was not a man of vision. He just kind of did whatever he wanted to do. And it failed most times. Hmm. Oh, I was going to ask you, do you have any... L what are we after? Lichfield? Yeah, two Lichfields. Do you have mm -hmm. any Lichfields in stock? Uh, no, ones? no. No? Okay. I can try and get bulk orders, but I mean... Oh, fuck it. All right. Yeah, people are coming in and asking for Lancasters, Litchfields, and everything for the holiday season. We don't have any. We have to buy them off the... We have to buy them straight from the Lancaster company. All right. We'll, um... We'll let things calm down a little bit. And, uh, we'll talk about... Guama. In the coming days. Yeah. Uh... There's some news on that. Wow. They're really cracking down on border... I guess border security. I don't know what the hell you call it. Tariffs, trade tariffs. They're, st they're apparently they're starting to stamp their gems. Of course. There's something new in the mines there. Yeah, there's something new in the mines. All right. An old has been of a fucking little weasel named Jack Kettleman sniffing about with his fucking teeth, looking to gnaw at things. Of course, I'm surprised he's even it allowed back there. I don't know if he is or not. I just know he's been sniffing about, asking questions about Guama. Well, I was talking about I'm the, uh, the Black, black Onyx or the Black Jade. Speaking of Black, have you heard of the Black Company? Uh, I know they're a new crew. So I'm taking a look at this paper, seeing what it was. Trying to find, there was just an article about this stuff. Apparently, it's incredibly valuable. It's coming out of the mines there. A black jade or something. Well, you don't care about the gems anyway. Yeah. What I was thinking, I was wondering if we were to steal Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department weapons or train weapons and take them over to Guama. And straight swap them for clean stuff. 
technically, they wouldn't be illegal weapons over there. Technically not, no. Um, depends, you'd have to talk to, the, you know, El Capitan about oh, that. Of course. Let's say we take eight Lancasters marked. Hell, any marked gun, really. Swap it for something clean, bring it over here, we can sell it for nearly full price. If he opened his arsenal, probably. You might have to do a ratio for it, you know, like a two to one or something for him to get value on it. If he's trading out his old guns. or Yeah. It's all about getting the ball rolling. And I'm keeping an eye on things happening there. You keep your ear open. All right. Listen out. All right. This uh, black company shot up my people over a gun. Oh, God damn it. You see them about you, let me know. All right. Yeah, I've heard they're something in St. Denis. They're not big, though. Not yeah. much anything, really. The best deal, I hear. Okay, well, I'll, maybe I'll go play poker there or something. Yeah. I'm glad, um... To say you're doing well, Flood. Yeah, I'm good to see you uh, doing well as well. Uh, you ain't got the noose or nothing like that. Not yet, but we just had a running with a sheriff who said some really interesting things. Something about, right. watch out, I'm gonna kill you or something. What was it, Pete? Ah, uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Which one? Fucking heart. I said we all gotta die sometime, and he said, yeah, yours is coming sooner than you think, or something like that. Yeah. Well, he always thinks he's clever. He's not that clever. No, he's and not. And his fashion sense is horrific. Yeah. He looks like a You're fucking right Christmas bed, yeah. ornament. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you stick his, you just stick him on top of a Christmas tree. He'd fit right yeah, in. Well, he stays away from me. Well, him and Ruby have history. He's stalking she her. She does not like him. He's hiding. He was like sitting across from the the slaughterhouse, just watching us. It was very bizarre. What the hell? Yeah, I, that was very strange. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. He might be like Scout. He like he might like to watch. She just stole this horse. <laughs> does that mean? <laughs> anyway, lovely to see you again, Flood. Yeah, you take care of yourself, kid. Yeah, your turn, of course. Pete. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just scout size. I love it. Uh, guys, I need to go to the bathroom. But I need to wait a little bit longer, otherwise I'm going to get shit from Pete. <laughs> or do you think we can get away with it without him knowing? I think we get it. I, I think. I think we could probably do it without them knowing, man. Bert Eagle. Yeah, let's hide. <laughs> hide right here, and he won't know. I'll be right back, guys. Hold on. All right. 
Be good. <clears throat> and to kill us and desecrate our corpses and stuff. So Tommy was like, okay. What? We're going to okay. show them not to say things like that. And okay. then he stabbed him, but it killed him. And that was not oh. the intention. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah I see that. Mm -hmm. I see that. But I also know whenever I fucking stab someone or shoot them. Well. There's always that chance, yeah. Yeah. Not justifying it. Just talking about them Danny thing, are we? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Wow. Well, it's done. It's done. Yeah, he did. I don't even know who he is. Anyway, um, you know, I'm glad that story. There's that guy over there uh, for the five bonds. If we oh, still haven't right. done that. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Oh yeah, that that oh, so. thing. Oh god. Oh no. I'm like I'm like a week late. I promised him. I promised him. I promised him what? But you, oh, okay. you gave him the bonds, right? Yeah, but I said the next the, the next five. You will get All them right, well, to I you too much. I was in Sisica, okay? It's not your fault. Yeah, and I was. Go get him and bring him over here. Nah, can you go get it? Hey, why? Why you can't do... prime? Okay, to talk to Ishmael. <laughs> that poor man. Who Peter? Hey, Ishmael. What are you doing? I think both. Ah, <gasps> it's Elfwin. <gasps> I'm glad that's all squared away though. Me yeah. too. That is uh, weighed off our shoulders a little bit. Yeah. I think it was, uh, what was it, like a week before all that happened? We saw Minnie in Blackwater. And she was mighty nervous about seeing Scott and I. And was making sure that if she moves to Rose, ain't nothing going to happen. And we were saying, yeah, Minnie, you're all right. You're all right. Is that that motherfucker? Because we had no intentions. Yeah. Is that that motherfucker, Charlie? Oh, there he is. The man of the yeah. hour. Mr. Halfway. Mr. Halfway. That's me. I apologize on the delay on the last five, but I was in Sissica. Ah, sorry to hear that. That's, uh, that's not a problem. I got the bulk of the order. Lovely. As promised. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. There's more of that to come. Maybe sooner that's than you think. That's good news. How soon are we talking? Well... I don't know. A week? Less? Okay, yeah, sure. Another I gotta round. get things back up and running now that I'm back out. Ah, oh, that's understandable. But how are you? Business booming? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, it might actually be something I wanted to talk to you fellas about. Sure. Um, can I get somewhere a little bit more private real quick? Ah, uh, yeah, you know the house behind the telegram station down the hill? Yep, another one. Well, we'll see you there. All right, no problem. Wonder what he wants. Right. Me and Will are best friends. This guy is just fucking hovering around Pete, man. <laughs> he's, he's just following Pete, man. Is that the Irish? Pete's prospect. Why are we dragging this fellow around with us? I don't know. It's like a pet. I don't like him knowing I about our dealings and like doings. Mm, I look just like kind of keeps pet. showing up. <laughs> Fucking turkeys, man. Holy shit. Wow, Palpatine, how you doing, man? Thank you for 16 months. Appreciate that. It's the new Tom Foolery. Oh, God. Tom Foolery, man. That's a name I haven't heard in a while.
fucking knife knife glitch, man. There we go. <clears throat> Wonder what this guy has in store for us. Alright, where's Pete? There's Fella. Oh, there. This guy uh, cannot uh, yep. come into this meeting. You're right. I am. <laughs> no reason whatsoever. Hey, Pete, could I borrow you for a moment? Yes, you can. <laughs> You're not planning on bringing your pet to this meeting, Hi, are you? I'm doing good. Hey, Ishmael! Come! <laughs> Never mind, Pete's gonna tell you instead. You know, it's. He's not one of us. He knows a lot of fucking information if he goes I'm in there that he shouldn't know. Luke, no. Look at <laughs> What do you mean, look? I'm looking at him. What am I seeing? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, Israel, you can go back now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Is that it? He just fucking walks away. <laughs> You're right. He's a, he's a fucking pet. Like... I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, like... It's a pet fly. Trying to just, and he's just no, hovering just fucking, around you. Yeah, but I'm trying to get him to, like, you know, just, like, spread his fucking wings <laughs> and do something, take some fucking initiative. But he ain't, he ain't biting. So what do I do? Yeah, tell him to he fuck want, off. Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. You want me to do it again? You want me to do it again? I, I, I don't know what... Because I don't Listen. like telling people to fuck off, man. All right, it's horrible. All right, all right. Let him down easy, but he has to move on because we got business to attend to, and I do not trust someone I don't fucking know to be. Uh, I'm gonna tell him to fuck up. I'm gonna tell him to fuck up. No, shit. it's gonna be easier shit. anyway. Shit. Shit. Don't, shit. don't do that. That's not a command. Shit. That's what you're saying. You need to shit. Ish Why are Ishmael? you telling me? I'm not. Please. Ishmael. Yeah. We got business to attend to. You gonna have to uh, get out of here, all right? Okay. You take it easy. Stay safe. Okay, I will. You too. Do you need pistol mm. ammo? <laughs> nope. Okay. Have a good day. You take Bye. it easy. Bye. Oh, God. All right. He'll be back. Don't yeah. Worry. He definitely will. All right, come on. <laughs> I feel bad, man, but realistically... We can't have someone we don't know standing on our meetings, man. All right. All right, so, um... Can I sit here? I was at a, a poker game at the Bastille oh, I'm through on the the Saturday night, I think it was. Poker night at Bastille, okay. And suddenly a bunch of people come running in saying that they'd just been robbed by the Dead End Gang. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, you're talking about the Black company right uh yeah i think some of them are yeah associated yeah. with them yeah go ahead yeah and then the next thing i heard maybe half an hour an hour later is uh them come back in saying they dealt with it right is everything all right you all good well good is a a term we are fine everyone's okay all right. Yeah, I just um, we'll I was just a bit concerned, you know. I I know those people. They're, they're, they're all right people. Um, they're all right people. I think oh, mostly Pulling I just yeah a trigger over a fucking gun. Yeah, that seemed a bit abrupt. I'll be honest with you. Not the brightest people. I think um. I think the black company itself is kind of falling apart a bit. I know, um, do, do you know the people from the black company? No, I've had one discussion with them. Well, um, Mr. Black, the, the man who was leading them, he, uh, passed away about a week ago. I heard. And, uh, yeah. It seems a fellow named Jameson and, uh, his partner Jules, I believe they're leaving. I believe they're heading over to the Corrigan or back to the Corrigan. I think they used to be part of that. If I can move into the Corrigan now, they've gone from Valentine to Bastille to the Corrigan. No, oh, the Bastille is actually Drew Peters and Ailish. They're running that place. Who? 
a fellow named Drew Peters and his partner Ailish. They've uh, they've started running that place. That's the fellow who set up the tournament for that night. Are they Blackwater? Oh, sorry, Black Company. Uh, I don't think so. No, they um they used to be associated with the Corrigan. I'm so confused right now. Yeah, it's all over the place. Like, I'm not sure the Black Company really is a thing anymore. They they kind of you know when Mister Black gone. Uh, I was told recently a fellow named Hobbs is kind of running it now. I don't know that guy too well. I played a couple of hands of poker with him last night. But... Scout, do you know exactly who was there at Shady Bell? Um, Jameson, Jules, what's the Hobbs fellow look like? Does he have like a, like a beard? Is he talking? Or... Oh, sorry. I was whispering. Uh, a person named Jameson, uh, Jules, and that Hobbs fella. Do you know what he looks like? Uh, short hair. He's kind of got a side bit. A little bit like Ishmael, I guess. Just without the hat and the furry coat. Does he wear Normally like wears a uh, shirt and waistcoat. Uh, he might have been there or not. I know for a fact Jules and Jameson were there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are the two that are heading back to the Corrigan, you know, they're um mm -hmm. they're done with the whole black company thing, you know, we're miss Mr. Black gone. Yeah. I don't really think there is a, a black company anymore. There was another man who didn't speak. What they don't even exist anymore? And I don't Fuck remember sake. if it was name was Ezra or Isaac, but he looked I'm pretty sure he was with the Corrigan. Okay, the fellow named Ezra, I'm pretty sure he him and Misty, they're the ones who run the Corrigan. Uh, there was a man dressed in all black and red, and I'm pretty sure I've seen him before. He didn't say nothing, though, while he was there, so I'm not sure. It was the one that started blasting. Um, it was a guy. I don't know name. Yeah, he had a beard, but it didn't have any mustache to the beard. So, like, it went under his chin and then back up, but doesn't cover the mustache. I don't know what that's called, but... And I think, like, a, a large for you? brimmed hat. It might be Emerson. Jesus Christ. Nah. Yeah, I, I guess what I really, I mean, I wasn't here to start, you know, talking or getting into your business. Uh, mostly, like, we had so many warnings about people running around St. Denis that night, and I was sitting at the poker table with a lot of money in my pocket, you know? I just want to make sure, you know, we, we got this, this deal now with the papers. Uh, am I... Am I going to be all right? You know, your people come into a place wanting to uh, take what people got on them. Wow. Uh, are we good? Well, let me tell you how this works. Robberies happen. These things are unpredictable. You go into a room, you take what you can, you get out. How this works is if you're good with me, which you are, if you do get robbed, you let them take what, whatever they take, and then you come to me. You get your stuff back. All right, I appreciate that. That's um. This black seems company fair. could have come to me, and we could have had a discussion. Instead, they try to draw blood, and leave one of mine freezing in the cold for days. Oh, shit. Okay. But I'm a reasonable man. And I'll work it out reasonably. Well, yeah, then. Robberies are never personal. I mean, it doesn't seem like they were reasonable about it, so, uh... No. Yeah. Again, I appreciate your business. If you have a problem with any one of mine, you come to me. All right, that's good to know. That's all I really wanted to make sure, you know. I kind of was just hoping, you know, I was uh, not going to get my ass kicked or robbed or anything uh, <clears throat> while I'm sitting around playing poker. And, you know, I play up in Valentine sometimes, sometimes with Bastille. And a few times I got a bit antsy, you know, I'm sitting at the table and... Being told there's people running around outside robbing people. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to lie. It, it could happen. 
Yeah. But right. we're friends. Right. So you'd get her back. Hey. Well, I appreciate if, if, that. If you're uh calm and don't try to be a hero, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna get hurt. I and hero, we'll Pete. get your stuff back to you. Yeah, that's uh well, that's good for me. All right. Now who um just just to be sure, um I know Scout and I know Pete and I think I know Alvin. Uh but Yeah. Who else do you all run with, just so I'm aware, you know? Who can I talk to, if need you know, be? Just you me. Know Dakota over here? Okay, nice to meet you, Dakota. Oh, okay, yeah. You, yeah, you, you guys talk to were... Me. Of course, Mr. Robby, yeah. Yep, I can do that. We have enough. All right. There's ten of us. Like there you is? Talk to, you talk to me, yeah. God damn it, Pete. Right. There's ten of us. God damn. Yes, Pete. No problem, yeah, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> Don't mind Pete. He's high on his own supply. Oh, absolutely. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all you wanted to talk about? Yeah, I just, you know, I, I just wanted to get my nerves a bit settled, you know. I'm just, I like to play in those high-stakes games occasionally, and yeah, you know, I was just a little bit worried on Saturday night, you know, with everything that was going on. And I just wanted to actually make sure that everything was all right, you know, with... Uh, you guys after after they came back so they shot a bunch of people down all right you're fine we're friends all right all right you're good well lovely seeing you again and we'll be in touch yeah no problem <clears throat> uh, good luck with everything yeah you're too it's good to see you all again thank you yeah, take, you take it easy Yeah, I realize. <laughs> Very nice, Pete. What? I mean, come on now. You can't be dropping shit on me like that. That's a big number. <laughs> Ten? You couldn't you tell that he was fishing? He was? Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Pete. Yeah, man. but sometimes you gotta, you know. Shake that booty? What are you saying? What is this, Pete? What does that mean? The fish gotta shake. Did Where's my fucking horse, man? Is this my horse? Go That's on. not my horse. This is my horse. <laughs> or someone else's, maybe. <sighs> fucking Pete, dude. I swear to God. <laughs> <sighs> we actually do have ten, by the way. Well, technically, we've got nine. <clears throat> Uh, but, but, I'm, we're gonna, re we're gonna get another 10. We do have 10, no yeah, we do, but the thing is, the way that he reacted makes it look like we don't. Which is fine. Who? Okay, let me count. Me, that's one. Scout, Dakota, Pete, that's four. Eddie is five. Alvin is six. Rennie's seven. Charles Morgan is eight. Speedy's nine, okay? and number ten is open at the moment, but I'm going to fill that in soon, I think. Yeah, apologies. Nope, man's not with us no more, man. That's that, that's that's dead end kids. I mean, that's old. Speedy's in the group, yeah. For now, we're keeping an eye on him. We're also keeping an eye on Scout and Dakota. But for now, yes. Oh, I got a telegram. I'm going to check that in uh, St. Denis, though. Yeah. <clears throat> Fuck. My voice is fucking up. <clears throat> uh, when? I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I should be. I should be. Yeah, no, I should, I should so be So Wallaby's, like, Wallaby's got a solution for the that. goose thing. We're gonna, we're gonna put Hopefully. Speedy. Was that Ed? I think so. Might have been, yeah. Looked like her. Did 
she legging it? Oh yeah, she's legging it. Wow, wow, wow. I wanted to give my condolences. Sorry? I said I wanted to give my condolences. Well, you can take your condolences and shove them up your ass till they come out your fucking mouth. Whoa, 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 Ed. I don't need your pity when you don't even care. Oh, I care. You don't care. A person on your path doesn't care what happens to those around them. But that is not true. I sent flowers to the funeral. Oh, you sent flowers, did you? <laughs> Where were they? <clears throat> I don't know, I just sent them. Right. <clears throat> you were the last person I want to see right now. Add. I liked Monroe. It wasn't personal. Hey, why is it personal? That's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> explain to me exactly what happened then, Wallaby. I would like to hear. Go on. I was doing my job I and was... he was doing his. Uh-huh, and then what? What is in your job description exactly? <laughs> What's in his? put people like you away forever ah. so no one like me ever has to see you ever again yet here i be here you fucking are i just wanted to say sorry for what happened you don't have to accept it Oh, for because what it's I worth, think. I had a conversation with him leading up to this. And he understood what I was doing. He knew why I was there in Saint Denis. He would never justify whatever you were doing. You wouldn't it was understand. Nothing. There was nothing. What do you mean I would have You live in this fucking bubble with sunshine and rainbows. Sunshine That's right. and rainbows? Yeah, you think Wallaby. the world owes you a nice, happy Wallaby. fucking life. You don't understand what I've gone through. And you I don't understand what I have. so many fucking people. And you think you're the only fucking one. Getting fucking cure. Life sucks. And then you die. I'm not gonna let my life suck and then die. I'm gonna make sure I do something important with it before I do. <laughs> what? The driving trains. <laughs> you know, without those trains, half the shit that you do here wouldn't even matter because you wouldn't have half the shit you have. <laughs> yeah. That is true. The trains are very important to me. If you honestly think that my life is rainbows no. and sunshine? No. I think that you think that the law are magically going to try to make that happen. That ain't fucking life. They know what they sign up for. They carry a gun like the rest of us. Yes, they do. It's not my fault that he was of too every slow. Fucking one of them. Stop people like you, Wallaby. 
Well, he didn't do that. Who are these people? You run with Wallaby? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You ever find your life ever just so happen to be constantly in danger for half the shit that you do? Yeah. Because you follow this says. fucking man into the fucking fire. <laughs> as long as I think that it's worth it, I'll do it. Yeah, listen to her. She's never in danger. You know she lives a nice, you, lawful life, and she's safe as like a Gavin bottom. Summers. What'd you say? I said, you're gonna end up like Gavin Summers. No, 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 no. No, I'm not going to live oh, long yeah, enough to die like Gavin Summers. I'm gonna die in my prime. Your prime, Wallaby? That's Look right. At yourself. How old are you now? 22. 22. That's right. You look like you're in your late 30s. <laughs> I'm still the best at what I do, Ed. Oh, that's right. That's right. Why are you talking like that? Like what? Why do you talk like that? I always talk like this. Like you got a flute stuck up your fucking nose. Huh. Very funny. I don't want to speak to you, Wallaby. I don't want to see you. Not yet. What's that supposed to mean, Ed? It means one day you're going to get exactly what's coming for you. And you're going to be oh. sent to Sissica and put in a pit somewhere. And you're going to be forgotten. And you're going to rot away. Oh, Ed, I haven't heard that before. You're gonna get what you fucking deserve, Wallaby. Heck, you might even get the noose. I might even get the nurse. Maybe the chair, if I can help it. It's like, I gotta repeat myself over and over again. Listen, I'm going to die, whether it be nurse or during a job. Every single one of us here know our life is short the way we live it. Why don't you go out doing something that's meaningful instead I of do. destructive? I'd rather. What do you do that's meaningful? I'd Please rather. Tell me. I'd rather be the best at something bad than be mediocre at something that's good. So you're just bad to be bad? No. I know my talents. I'm fucking good at it. In fact, I'm the best. The best. That's right. I told Monroe when he started shooting at me. He was looking old and slow. His time was up. Don't fucking talk to me about Monroe. Don't ever fucking mention his name. And what are you I don't even want to hear it. What are you going to do, Ed? There's a lot of good. I have fucking dreams about tying you to things and sending them into the ocean. <laughs> oh, really now? Well then, kindly get off your moral fucking high horse. You're a fucking psycho like the rest of us. Maybe. <laughs> Monroe would be so disappointed in you. I don't think he would. Talking like one of us. I'm never gonna be like you. <laughs> no, you're too Ever. scared to. Oh, I'm not scared. Oh, yes. The difference between me and you is I have the balls to do what I want to do. I'm doing exactly what I want to do. Really? You just told me what you dream of doing. Then fucking do it. Grow up here. You'll get your time, Wallaby. Don't you fucking worry. And I'll make sure to be there. And I will watch. <laughs> the train's running today, Ed. There's none of your concern. <laughs> All right. Well, as I said, I just wanted to say sorry for your loss.
we've all lost things we care about. I know how it be. You don't know shit, Wallaby. <sighs> I beg to differ. I don't have time for this. Take care, Ed. I hope you choke. Bye, Ed. All right, then. Turns oh. out a lot of people want to kill me. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Sounded to me like she wanted to tie you up and do other things for a second. <laughs> yeah. I think the trains might be running. Exciting. Will be so cool. I like trains. He's very different, yeah. The way I see it, and I kind of explain this, I think I explained it in my Discord. But the story of Wallaby was showing how someone can go from being a very optimistic kid to becoming the villain. How does one become a Gavin Summers or a Jack Kettleman? So what's next? I'm gonna see if this black companies at the uh, Corrigan. Hmm. If I saw the Ooh. guy who initiated it all again, I would know clear as day who it is. I just don't know his name. I right, keep that in mind. And I'll also check telegrams, yes. She's probably running straight to law about getting security for a train. More security on a train, less security at a bank. <laughs> I like the way you think. We, we need to be more careful this time, though. We need to scout that train. Yeah. We didn't know how many people... I know we already kind of did, but... Yeah, well, you know, the information was slightly, slightly, uh, off. Timing-wise. Well, we gotta be careful with everything we do. The law ain't fucking around with us no more. So we need to be absolutely sure about what we're doing, how we're doing it. Who is that tailing us? Um... Uh, that's... Wolby was the bad guy since the, the start? Button? No. No, he wasn't purely bad before. Sure. Him, lo him losing Missy has uh, changed him quite a bit. Got that lightning, man. things obviously but was he all bad no right now he's like he's he's cold as fuck and i i need to like i need to commit to that as hard as it is i love wallaby so much and i love him uh being liked by people it's really time to embrace that cold bad guy role kind of where he's at. It's been a steady decline since Bob's death. Yeah. yeah 
Jesus. Hey, Barley, how you, how you doing? Ran into Peaches yesterday. Uh, you Mentioned you me? may be out soon. Uh, so if you still wanted to me to take, to take you to that. Yes! I'll explain to you in a second, guys. Mother, motherfucker. Hi, how you doing? I don't know what he's up to. I don't know. How you doing? I'm yawning, so. Bye bye. Bye bye. Something else has come up. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, where's your fucking horse? It got lost. You want to go to the stable? Go to the stable. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so Wallaby met Desmond in Sisica. Desmond is part of the Redwater Company and they had a back and forth discussion about Rufus he's going to show us where Rufus is buried uh, first we're going, to go, we're going to go to Strawberry and get a box so we can put his bones in the box and then bring it back to the clubhouse and bury him proper So finally Rufus can get buried at the clubhouse where he belongs, not in some fucking random spot where his murderers dumped him. Which, by the way, is what I wanted to discuss that time in the fucking slaughterhouse. <laughs> like, I wanted to know where he was buried and shit, but I wanted the scene to be, like, tense, but... Better late than never, we get to do that. Alright. Who's Rufus? All right. He's an old member of DEG. Alright. Just so we're on the same page. This isn't going to mean much to you, but it means a lot to me. Alright. I had a friend named Rufus. We called him Rufio. He was part of the Dead End gang back in the day. At one point, I got locked up a long time. So he started outsourcing to other groups to get work. One of those being the Red Water Company. Things went sour. They ended up killing him. Oh. That was a long time ago. But right now, I'm finally gonna see where they fucking put his body. We're gonna go to Strawberry, get a box. Carefully put his remains inside and bring him back to the clubhouse and bury him proper where he deserves. Alright. Alright. I appreciate the help. or something? No. Okay. I'm just making sure he's with friends and not somewhere random where his murderers dumped him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a shovel to... Can you get a box at Annisburg? Yeah, but we're going to uh, Strawberry instead. Let's 
stop by a store. Get us some sugar. Yeah. We can get that strawberry. Mm -hmm. He'd be hilarious if Brad locked into two corpse RP. I don't think I, in my mind Rufus died years ago now. He'd be he'd be pretty much skeleton. Such a long time ago. But you know what? I love how this this thread has um, continued to now. Like he's not forgotten, which I like. We get to uh, put him at the clubhouse. I wish Bob was there, man. Goddamn Viking funeral is a disaster. We should have put him at the clubhouse. <laughs> but I get it. That's what that's what Bob wanted. Man, today's been good. I've had some, uh, we've had some very interesting, like, very personal conversations. There's a lot of heat in the air right now. There's a lot of, um, uncertainty and uh, people wanting vengeance and justice and all that. Did I say 25 minutes or 20 minutes? Probably speed it up a little bit. Ah, uh, speed it up. Let him know. Oh, fucking Pete. I swear to God, man, Pete's got the worst horse. about Goose's funeral. I think they might have postponed it. Are you good to go fast or no? Yeah. All right, let's go. Meeting uh, someone at Cattail. They'll show us where Rufus is. Goose is dead? Yeah, yeah. Mrs. Goose got murdered by Speedy. They're waiting for you on the funeral? What do you mean they're waiting for me on the funeral? Postponed it. I th yeah, I think I think they postponed it for Rudd. Maybe I didn't expect them to do that. They didn't have to do that. I would have logged on Rudd today and done like a. a uh, I would have attended for like an hour, but Abs was not available as well. Oh, okay. Well that that makes me feel a bit better. <laughs> that makes me feel a bit better. to buy new horses. So, what are you talking about? I could lose My you so easily. Hasn't even taken a breath yet. God damn. <laughs> Do I have a good Bible verse prep? Not particularly. I kind of want to do that the the dead the deadwood quote again. 
I thought that was a pretty good one. The one I, the one I said to uh, Goose that time in the office. I think that'd be good to say at her funeral. About blood being spilled and shit like that. I think that's pretty fitting. get the box I won't get a couple of shovels Was Goose trying to shoot Eddie or something? No, no, it was it was cold blooded murder, man. He just straight up stabbed her. <laughs> So he said that at 8.49, so about an hour ago. Hopefully, he got my yeah. telegram response. Ben Tilly's, how you doing, man? <laughs> Biff? What do you mean, Biff? You mean, you call me a bitch, man? Fuck you, dude. I think for 10 months. <laughs> there he is, Flood, ladies and gentlemen. Did Eddie die? No, Eddie's alive. Oh, telegram. It's probably him saying can't make it. <laughs> See you there. Cool. Wait, where did he send that from? Valentine. Okay, so we should get there around the same time. What's the problem? He seems unhinged. <laughs> What's the matter, Pike? To himself in the night. <laughs> like, <laughs> who pee? Say that again. Like what? <laughs> Never mind. Well, let's go. Is he all right? Uh, he put know. something, some, Ooh, some yeah, something yes, special all right, in that pipe today. Goddamn. <laughs> all right. Oh, let's go.
this guy. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking maybe we should buy a second box. Uh, yeah, I can do that real quick. Yeah, do that real quick. Do you need to pee again, Pete? Is that the problem? What? Do you need to pee again? Is that the problem? I mean, now that you mention it, <laughs> are you acting out because your bladder is full? <laughs> what do you mean acting out? I'm not doing nothing. All right, fine. I need to go pee. I'm <laughs> back. Fucking We're not going to sit for another hour. No, since you mentioned it, I started thinking Just about fucking it. Fucking hurry up, will ya? go. He's taking another piss. Go piss! Oh, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> He's got the world's smallest bladder. It's <laughs> impressive, really. <laughs> he might have a medical problem. <laughs> All right. I'm so glad we're gonna we're gonna find Rufus, man. Honestly, I guess we put him next to Missy. We can put him next to Missy. We can find another place for him. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. He drinks alcohol. Okay. Fair enough. Kind of want to push him over. <laughs> He'd get pee all over himself, Scout, then he have to go get dressed. Uh-huh, and he might also pee on you. Yeah, uh, not, not worth the, point. the rest. Hey, Pandas, how you doing, man? Great scene earlier, dude. Great scene. I didn't. I didn't expect it to be you. I should have known when I, I saw bet the coat. I could go pee right now and be back quicker than him. Do you want to test it? Uh, I just peed a little bit ago. It's all <laughs> good. You didn't even know. That's how quick I am. Thank you so much for sharing. Of course. Man, do you guys remember the days when Wallaby used to have like a light-hearted relationship with the law? Do you remember those days? Ah, dude. Now it's all, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna die. <laughs> Oops, wrong thing. Slaw? Mmm, don't think so. It's right, his fault. I mean, you're not wrong, technically. I'm sad I, I'm sad I didn't get to hear your walk off line, Pandas. I'm sure it's. Oh, wait. Jojo. Jojo. Interesting. I'm gonna keep looking at Bonner. Yeah, I knew you'd drop it first. How does he piss bitch. this long? I don't One of God's mysteries. You might save it for next time. Fair enough. Is he back on duty? Or is he just stalking me? Come on, Pete. Let's go. God damn. <laughs> Switch out headset battery before we start riding. Let's go there. You wake up from the coma today? Oh, Let's gotcha. So go it's going to be there. a little bit. All right. Yeah, yeah. He says, What's he saying? Time to sure. What do you mean? He's got one on, Pete. <laughs> Pete, what are you mumbling back there? Is he alright? I, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> are you okay? Can you understand me? Yeah, I can. What were, what were you saying? <laughs> nothing. Oh, okay. Not really. It was nothing important, but... Can you understand me? <laughs> I, Do yeah. you understand yeah. the words that are coming out of my mouth? Yeah. Not, Not when you talk like that. 
<laughs> Come on, we're late. We gotta move fucking quicker. Let's go. <laughs> is this the right way? I think it is. Oh man, oh man. Yes, the right way. <sighs> Davy's iconic. Dude, Davy's a legend, man. Doing rush hour. I heard they're making rush hour four. Can you believe it? I can't believe that's actually happening. Really? Yes. They announced it. I'm pretty sure they announced it. Oh, I love that PD mode with the smoking. That's great, man. With Jackie. Ch yes. With Tucker and Jackie Chan. It's happening. Legit. I love that emote, man. Holy shit. <laughs> Can we go go tell Davey I love his new emote. I love the PD emote. It's fantastic. Well done. Well done. Not the wrong panda's not wrong. I hope they play on the fact that they're old. I, I just saw someone on a horse. Is that an illusion? I think it was an illusion. Alright, we're gonna take on a left up here. Alright. Whoa, sir. There's a big ass rock there. I didn't see it. Hey, all right. Admit, until the very last second. What's the probability you think it'll be good? Oh, it's probably not going to be good, man. I hope they have fun with it, though. Man, this Monroe perma starting to finally like it's it's uh, dude it's paying off. It's paying off big time. I didn't just kill Monroe. I put heart in a fucking coma for like months, man. Like in game, like in character months, I put him in a fucking coma. No wonder they hate me. I'm trying to see if he's in here. Then. Desmond, are you in here? Okay. Okay, it's not in here. Let's wait outside. All right. Okay. I'm in here. Oh. Yes. Okay. I guess he is in there. All right, going back go. inside. <laughs> I called out to him, man. I can hear everything you say out there, by the way. Yeah. yeah. That's how walls Just... work, Pete. Yeah. Shh. Thieves landing would be. Never mind. That's bad. How are you doing? Same shit, different house. Sure. Good to see you out of Sessica, alive and well. Mm hmm. Likewise. Dakota, Scout. Howdy. Howdy. I don't recognize the other gentleman. That's Squeaky Pete. Squeaky Pete. <laughs> Hello there. What's your Howdy. name? Desmond Pierce. Desmond Pete. Nice to meet you. I, um... I appreciate this. I won't take up too much of your time. <laughs> well, it ain't business. It's personal for you to visit this, so... It's not really time wasted on me. 
I'm also going to move him back home where he belongs. Wouldn't be for me to have qualms with it, so I'm not really going to stop you. If someone else has an issue with it, then they can take it up on their own time. Oh, I'm easy to find. That's fair enough. Alright, well, the whenever you're ready. Alright, well, so... We got a bit of a ride. Alright, we'll follow you. We leave it already, God darn. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, we can have a sit down. Why'd you want to sit down? Maybe a do chat. You need, do you need to fucking pee again? No. I wanted to I wanted to enjoy a conversation with y'all. Can I do all the talk on we reach there? Mm. What's happening? Uh, we found out where Rufus is buried. One of the Red Water Company are going to take us there to uh, to get Rufus's remains so I can rebury him at the clubhouse. Back when we done that slaughterhouse thing, this was the ultimate goal was to find out where what he was buried. But we ended up doing it in Siska. Getting my friend Rufus. That's gross. I mean, he's All a right. skeleton by now, man. It's been a long time. Good to go. It's not gross, man. We've relocated him from where his murderers just buried him to where his home is. Nah, he'd be a skeleton by now, dude. I feel like it's been in character like three, four years. Feels like it's such a long time ago. Isn't disturbing him disrespectful? Eh. I'm moving him, man. We're moving him. I don't know where the fuck they buried him. He's going back to the clubhouse. So people, so Wallaby can actually visit him and shit. I don't know where the fuck they put him. Wallaby's mindset is that Rufus has been lost for a long time. He didn't know what happened to him or where he was. He just knew that he was killed. And finally he gets to find where he's where he was left. Take him from wherever random spot he was and bring him back to somewhere where like Missy is and where Wallaby's gonna be. Rather than just in a random spot. seen the clips of his death yeah <laughs> then bury Desmond in the spot instead oh yeah actually Desmond told Wallaby who the actual one that killed him was it was Koho it's the guy that killed him Yeah, Wallaby does know about Hawk. No closure for that then? What is that supposed to mean?
Holy shit, did they bury him out west? Man, what the fuck? <laughs> I wonder if they buried him where they killed him. I got no idea. I don't exa exactly know where he was killed. He did say it was a long ride. Yeah, he did. I thought it was going to be up like uh, towards Annisburg Way. Like that's for some reason I thought it was going to be out there. I didn't think it'd be out West Way. That's interesting. the LJ plot? Ooh, dude, you've missed a lot of good shit, man. The, uh, the Dead End Gang and Wallaby story, the last, I think, maybe two and a half months has been fucking insane. So much has changed. So much story. Did LJ die? Um... I don't think so, but in character we don't know yet. We just know that he's in a coma. Resi, Resi? Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, man. Thank you for using your Prime on me, mate. You be Theodore Roosevelt this time? Oh my god. That, what a disaster that whole fucking thing was. Wallaby? Yeah. I don't want to go to Sissier, man. I want I to run. You're not going to go to Sissica, I promise you, okay? Well, I mean, I am. If I get caught, so I'm going to run. You got a big mustache. They're not going to recognize you. If I yeah, you're right. You're right. Just don't talk to him. You'll be fine. Yeah. I can put on my British accent. <laughs> British <laughs> accent. Uh -huh. What's that sound like? Hello there. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, God. Impressive, honestly. Welcome to the West. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Can we see that uh, epic waving fucking chicken emote, whatever the hell it was? That might be the best uh, emote we've unlocked, man. So good. So good. Here it is. Look at that. Look at that. Anyone that says that, uh, you know, sub trains or whatever the fuck, hype trains are a scam, man. Yeah, you're looking at it a little bit differently now, huh? With that emote. Holy shit. Holy shit. And a squirrel to top it off, man. Can't get enough with the squirrels, man. On the good morrow. Dude, he was buried right out west. My god.
Yeah, this is the exact opposite side of the map I thought he was gonna be. Anybody up for some tea? Pip pip cutie Oh shit! I would love some tea, miss. He's taking me to an ambush. Oh, that'd be funny. Holly right, uh, doubt it though. They buried him all the way out west, looks like. Mm. What'd you say, Wallaby? We were making fun of the British. I said, looks like they buried him all the way out west. Glorious. Is it glorious? Swift Fox, think of the three months, man. They didn't put the 10 member rule. How many members you think would be in the dead end? I think it'd be probably around the same, man. I, 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 I'm, I'm not a huge fan of having like 15, 20, 30 people. I think it's a bit much. I think you should be encouraged to gain power and influence through RP and not just by numbers and recruiting. You don't need more than like, like 10, 12 people's plenty man it's, it really is if you can't if you can't like do what you need to do if, you know if, if you can't do if you can't get what you you want through uh rp with 10 people then i don't know what to tell you i mean there's a six man rule for doing things so having like 10 20 30 people is just like it's overkill it's just like dominating through numbers it's not making you any better in situations it's just becoming overwhelmingly like just just overwhelming by numbers territory wise and like i said you, you should you should be gaining influence and power and 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 all that through rp not not by recruiting because honestly if we if i wanted to have 20 30 people in this group i probably could do it it wouldn't be that hard it wouldn't be that hard to do. But I prefer a smaller group, more personable. Get to go RP with the same people. Get to learn their characters and stuff. I think it's better that way. Are we here? I would assume so. I guess so. Died in the head to the hands of his own slug. gang. He wasn't in the gang. There you go. Hawk left that there for him not long ago, actually, when we went to visit it last time. Said he liked the desert, apparently. Is this where he died? And they brought him out here, I suppose. I don't think this is where he died, no. He was pretty in there. Based on how they described it, I think it was out east somewhere. No, we I had back exactly and forth, where. me and him, via telegram. There was reasons that he was in there, mind. Wow.
you weren't there, right? So. No, this is before my time. Well, before my time in Redwater, at least. Did you hear anything? About it? Regarding. Regarding what happened? Yeah. Well, I figured I told you most of what I remember in Sisica, but. From what I understand. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Hawk please. described him as having losing his mental capacity. He was losing himself, who he was. Becoming more and more aggressive, having more random uh, outbursts, I guess, would be the best word for it. And apparently Summers warned uh, Hawk once that if he had one more outburst that he was going to kill him. And Hawk tried her best to keep him calm. But apparently they had some kind of argument later down the line. It went on and on, and then he was going to walk away, then someone said something, I don't remember who. Um, he turned around and went at them and started chewing them out. And they put him down. He had his little quirks and ticks. Don't we all? He was... He was gone. He didn't deserve to be gunned down. Not like that. But... It is what it is. He's been lost sure. for a long time. I appreciate you showing us where he is. Of course. I don't hold any grudges. Well... Even if he did, man who killed him is in a very deep coma and there's no certainty that he'll ever wake up, so he's basically dead. Thank you. Of course. I'll leave you all to it then. As morbidly ironic as it is, I have someone else to visit. And has passed away. Yeah, there's a lot of death going around. Theme of the crossing the last two months. Yeah. More to come. If you need me for anything else, you got my telegram. Till then. Yeah, you're too. Reach out any time. Will do. Y'all take care. Not a bad spot now. Not a bad spot, but it's not hard. Shovels. Yeah. Mm. 
Yes, he did. He carved his name on the fucking wall, dude. There was a whole thing. People, people sleep on, on Rufus, man. All right. Let's be uh, respectful. Mm. So, sorry. Just be gentle. All right. Uh -huh. I need a moment. It was DK, man. It was DK. Fucking Rufio, dude. Well, we ain't on the side and shit, but something, something don't feel right in moving this guy. We're not, not moving him, but I don't feel right d making a strike. And aren't. All right. He's gonna be at the clubhouse where he carved his name into the wall, surrounded by his friends, and he'll have a fucking tombstone. So he's remembered. Not out here in the middle of fucking nowhere. Mm -hmm. In the desert. Alone. He was my friend. He was Pigsy's friend. All of us. And I hope that one day, if I get killed by people and they bury me somewhere in but fuck nowhere, that you dig me up and put me next to Messi too. people that put him here and you should be Otherwise you should be the, the one at him. you should be the one to do it then like i said i don't feel right digging up this man's bones whether i knew him or not whether he was part of the dinner gang or not i didn't know him i understand Just step away and let me handle it. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright. Maybe with pain. Right, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fucked up, but we, you know. We found a dice. Hell yeah, man. There he is, guys. That's fair. It's Rufio's dice. We got to hold on to it now, man. Okay, fine. That's canon. <laughs> Rufio's dice, man. This is Rufio in a box. <laughs> the expression is blank as he places Rufio in a box. <laughs> All right. Let's take him home. Yeah. Let's take him home. Uh, 
uh, by the way, I have talked to Brad about this. And he's going to request uh, a proper tombstone for wherever we put him. So he was happy about this. Just so everyone knows. I'm so sorry. If you want to kiss me, just tell me. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I'll, I'll make sure I tell yeah, Scout dude, first. No, 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 no. Alright, no, thank no. you. <laughs> offer that to people. It's my go-to thing when they start trying to... <laughs> So Rufio will get a proper grave. Um, yeah, we just got to make sure we send him a screenshot of where it is. That way staff can place it. Rufio was a symbol. Oh god. Should have said yes. Who should have said yes? Oh, you mean... Wait, 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 what? It can mark Missy as well. Yeah, we could do that, I suppose. But then it's kind of like people will assume they're both buried, like, together in the same, like, grave. It's, I don't know, that might be seen as weird. Oh, the kiss? <laughs> we don't want to kiss Dakota, man. Maybe Scout wants that, though. Oh, shit. Don't know who that is. KG, maybe? You only get one tombstone per character. Yeah, yeah, but I, you know, I've got like two. <laughs> Actually, I got one. The, the Boyd one's not there anymore. I think they're going to put it back though. wasn't really a tombstone, that's true. It's like a stump with a fucking uh, hammer next to it. <laughs> that was sick though. How is that even possible? Uh, he, he tends to go real slow randomly. little try. $150, you don't say. What? <laughs> Nothing, come on. $150, what now? Yeah, Pete is clueless like 24-7. Nothing, Pete. <laughs> don't think too hard. It's hurting. It's hurting. <laughs> It'll be alright, Pete. I'll make it through this. <laughs> <laughs> He's strong. I don't know if I can. Oh, this fucking guy. I don't know if I can. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't even know how you managed to have that happen what here. The <laughs> what the fuck is going on, babe? <laughs> <laughs> Are you alright? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, oh, I was Tell me it too so Put him on the back of Dakota's think. horse. Told you not to think. Come on, PD boy. Dave is baked Lord. regularly. You don't say, man. You don't say. You can't tell someone not to think. It only makes them think harder. Did you think yourself into, like, what, what even happened to you? <laughs> I didn't know that exactly. that could be that painful. You'll have... There's There's something a... wrong with your brain, Pete. You need one of them, like, people behind us. Don't know who they you are. You need to get a stick in your skull. <laughs> I'm asking. I don't know if he does. Oh, I don't know. I got no idea. I wouldn't be surprised. We definitely got to be careful if he's wanted and lossy and in this state. They will use it to their advantage. Yeah, well, yeah. and also it raises suspicion while we're carrying someone around. All right, we'll stop in Blackwater and get him help. 
make it quick. We got three riders behind us, but I don't think they're law. Huh. What do you mean? <laughs> Stop you thinking. You don't have any medical. No, I, I do don't. have a medical bag if needed. You want to do it here? I don't right know who's behind us. us. Uh, that could be anybody. I, I don't need no doctor, though. I just fainted because of the stress. What stress? What are you stressed about? <laughs> the stress of Wallaby was putting me under. <laughs> of, of what? Making the decision so to shovel? Exactly. Pete, I don't know if you're cut out for this. He's okay with pulling the trigger and robbing banks, but God forbid he has to dig a hole. Uh huh. It's that manual labor, I tell you. <laughs> they still behind us? Don't see him. Did they cut across? Where the fuck did they go? Sorry, I'm late to the stream. Been skinny deeping in the snow outside. Hope you're well, Bert. I'm well, dude. How you doing, Ellis? Thank you for the 15 months. Appreciate you. I am well. Christmas is a coming. And it feels like it too, man. It's getting warm. <laughs> we'll just be spreading that coat now. I'm going to take the coat off. We look good at the coat too. Randy Bo Bandy, holy shit. That's a name. I haven't read in a while. How you doing, dude? Lucy Goosey. How you doing, man? You reckon we're gonna get you reckon Pete's gonna get arrested in Blackwater? Potentially could happen, guys. Such a weird concept for a northern hemisphere. Folk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being warm in uh, at Christmas time. Yeah, it gets really hot. It's our summer. Peaks around my birthday. Lucky me. You saw us all outside of Strawberry. Interesting. Were you on your law character? Or is Eli out? That was a bit weird. We binocular each other. Oh, right, 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 right. Yep, 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 yep. We saw Goldie last night, by the way. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Like three hours before your release. Did you show where Missy was? Uh, no. I think uh, Peach just talked to her. And we went to go do something. We had a meeting with somebody at the time, the Irish. I might do a drink stream for Christmas, maybe. I haven't decided yet. I might do like a variety stream and uh, do like a Christmas celebration with you guys. I just don't know what to set the, the goal to because I don't want to like drink too much. And I know people go fucking crazy. They try to get me to be absolutely yeah. smashed. And I don't know if I want that in my life. So I don't know what like a like a reasonable goal would be freedom okay we would never yeah okay get hammered <laughs> i'll work out something balanced okay because if i do like one drink per like 20 50 subs or something people are going to make me drink the first five fucking minutes guys like i know how you guys operate it's all top heavy. I start a stream, like a subathon, and it's all the first 10 minutes. It's just like you just fucking dump everything instantly. And I can't do that with drinking, man, because I'm gonna fucking die. Alright. 
help him out in there. Or keep watch out here. Do a shot every hype train level. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It'll be fun. Need someone to tell the grain for a dock or No way good, thank you. Yeah. Keep riding, bitch. We're fine. We're fine. We should get up there. Is there a way up there? There are ladders. There actually might be a way up there. Oh, yeah, it is. Ladder there, ladder there. Yeah, you can get right to the roof. Check that out for a second. Because I'm thinking now for a bank robbery. Hold on. Got my bank robbery cap on. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to be up here. I'm going to come down here. This would be sick for a shootout. Like, we robbed the bank. We have, like... We have two people on the outside. Up here. Okay? We come out. We ride horses down this road here. We take a left. As we take a left... People behind here... Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> This is a horrible idea. No, it's not, man. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Dude. That's smart as fuck. <laughs> God, Law's gonna see me here and think I'm up to no good, which I, which I am, to be fair. We have Rufus in a box behind me. <laughs> Ninto! Think of the Twitch Prime subscription, buddy! What, are we looking for a fight? No, I'm just thinking of a plan for Blackwater because Blackwater is one of those banks where it's a little hard to do a good plan. Because there's not many places you can run to. It's like it's always tall trees. Tall trees, tall trees, tall trees, tall trees. And it's fucking boring. So I'm just kind of thinking... I'm just trying to think like a way to make it interesting. That roof could be interesting. If we have a shootout in town. That'd be kind of cool. But the goal would be to shoot their horses... to refine it, but I've got... I, I kind of want to use that building. I don't think anyone's used that building. I think that'd be sick. The 
the buffalo. No, guys. No. The buffalo plan is... No. How you doing, man? Thank you. Thank you, dude. I appreciate the sub again. The roof could be risky for anyone that is up there. 100%. That's why I'd make sure Wallaby's up there. speak. Team speak crashed. Okay. Is it not working? What the fuck's going on here? Close that. Man, it crashes so often, too. There we go. Alright. Sorry about that. Right. You ain't messing much. Yeah, me and Sarah have been married now for... Two years. Time flies, dude. Time flies. It was like yesterday when I met her in Rust. Bang job today? Uh, probably not. I wouldn't rule out a, a train though, because I think Ed's running them. However, I don't know if I'll, I don't think Wallaby should get involved in a, in a train robbery. I, I don't like the idea of instantly getting arrested and going back to jail, you know what I mean? But I'd like to maybe observe a train job would be cool. I like maybe get a disguise, just be a passenger on the train. Team speaks getting old. Dude, Team Speak speaks being old, dude. Yeah, I met Sarah in Rust, yeah. Long time ago now, but it feels like yesterday. <laughs> what the fuck is shooting? There's a pig crossing the road. He that, wanted pig to shoot it. that was really <laughs> fucking close to me, Pete. What do you mean? That was close to your five backwards. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Oh, I felt yeah, like I was right next to shooting gun. That reminds me, Speedy almost shot me in the head the other day. Of course, you're dead. Law went hesitant to shoot either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still interested to see if Ed's running a train. Yeah, me too. Though I think if we do that, I can't be involved. It'll just bring more heat onto you. Yeah. Need time to cool things off a little bit. Temperatures high. Everyone's taking everything so fucking personal. They're all got a vendetta and a chip on their shoulder. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. You know, not much separates us and them. You know. Yeah. If they if they uh didn't have the threat of you losing their job. They'd be dragging people through the streets, too. You know, that's what Maple said to me one time. He said that the only thing that was stopping him from shooting you after you shot his horse with the badge on his chest. Exactly. Which I thought was interesting. It's not because they're good people. It's because they want the fucking check. Yeah. They want the payday. It's about the job. Not 
across that banner. They're bloodthirsty to vengeful. It's called being human, people. Yeah. Well, I mean, you say that, but isn't that kind of the thing? That the law isn't human, and the law is the law. The law is the law. People mm -hmm. enforcing it, however, aren't human. They are. You saw the look in heart's you eye. Gotta, you gotta give away a bit of you, your humanity to take on that road. <laughs> really sound like a geezer now? Yeah, yeah. This, this is all like, um, domino effect from all the things that's happened, you know? We didn't just spawn in with this outlook and it's been a very gradual change in philosophy and like just how he is like a lot of traumatic shit man a lot like his rivalry with the law has been building and building over time and as time's gone by it's become more and more serious like it's been a gradual thing it's taken us a year to get to this point howdy howdy some war in there i'll meet you guys there i gotta grab something real quick that's a horse with a light on it. LJ alert. Do you around? Who the fuck is this? Why are they this running? Man running from us. Hello. Honey. Flower pickers. Does Wallaby want to relieve Miss Miss or relive the zany? No, 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 no. Wallaby's he's evolved. How many streams of Wallaby do you think he's done? Um, it's got to be over a hundred. I I would think it's well over 100 at this point. I think I've done twice as much with him as Baz, at least. At, at the very least. <laughs> so what are we going to go after law? Uh, if I do, it's not going to be in the way that you'd expect. This feels right, man. If this feels right. All right, there's Missy. I'm gonna put him here. I'll put him next to Messi. How'd you, how'd you meet this fella? I oh, like everyone else. It was 
young. Wanted to do something crazy. And I tell you what, he was pretty fucking insane. He was like Eddie. A lot like him, actually. Oh, God. But I met him in Sessica. Uh, Save Joe's pretty. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. That's, it actually is a cool story. Hmm. In fact, I met him because I was having a bit of a brouhaha in prison with another gang. Back and forth and punches were thrown. I got knocked on my butt. And then Rufio came and beat them all up single-handedly. Helped me to my fate. It was a good when friend. Was the last time that you saw him? Just before prison, I did a long sentence, and uh, it took us a while to find out what happened to him. I'm gonna put this here just to mark it. I'll get something made up for him soon. Feels right, guys. Feels right. <sighs> it feels right, him being here. He's back home, man. It took how long to get him here? That's crazy, man. How long has it been? It's been like, what? I want to say... Seven? Eight months? I feel like. Six months? It's been a long time to get to this point. Oh, God. Damn. Which might as well be, like, that's, that's years in game, man. That really is. Took us six to seven months to finally find out who killed him, why they killed him, find where he's buried, and then bring him back home. <sighs> All right, I'll be in contact. Let me get some. Can someone get some screenshots? Uh, hold on. Take a photo now, just so they can see where the marker is. And then I'll take another take another photo here, just showing where we are, and put it in the Discord for me, and I'll send that to Brad, and he can get a stone put in. <sighs> okay, feels good, man. Uh, yeah, we can do that now. I got the two on my horse. All right, what's going on? Uh, we got the box, and she's going to add the two guns that she has, and that'll be all of the guns from me and her that we have. You're putting it all into your box, did you say? Into a box, yeah. To all give right. to you, because okay. we're going to be gone over the weekend. All right. And that's all you've got. The rest are with Rennie, Eddie, and Alvin? Uh-huh. Correct. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So you should just need two Lancasters, which they have, and then the two Litchfields, and you'll be good. All right. And the two Schofields. All right, I'm going to uh, take this empty box then. All right. Here, take this. All right. I don't know if you want to use it or not. There was bones in there. 
Oh. <laughs> been away? What has happened? It depends how long you've been gone, man. It could be a lot. Right. could be li very um... little. Um... I think it's worth noting that two of the Lancasters in there are completely clean. Just standard Lancasters, no edging. Perfect. You got, you got the, the list right, what we wanted. Yes. What was it again? Um, in everything total? Yeah. Six Lancasters, two Lichfields, and six Schofields. All right. All right, then. I'll talk to the rest, and hopefully Eddie wakes up soon. Yeah. I'll get in contact yeah. with Zip and let him know that his order's pretty much ready. All right. Did you want to go see if they're at the, uh, the boat? This black yeah. company. All right. Also, uh, we was talking with the Irish, and they're willing to trade some of them Lancasters for Litchfields, if necessary. We lose Pete. I think he might somewhere. have gone for a piss, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, of course. <laughs> that poor fella. We can go to the Irish. I have... Hmm. Yeah, we can work it out. Yeah, they don't have any Litchfields at the moment, but they said that they telegram Scott or I if they do. All right, well, let's check St. Denis for Taipan, then. Yeah. Did he seriously go for another fucking piss break, man? Yes, he did. He's right there. Mike. <laughs> Is he all right, man? Is he ill? Dakota is now peeing in a bush as well. Oh, great. He needs a pissy mode. He fucking does, man. <laughs> he does. There he is. My bad. I'll come back. You're gonna have to jump on the back of his horse. Well, I can't. He got a back. Uh, well, yeah, my horse is being great. weird because I, I don't have a box on me. Oh, you don't? Oh, no. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I, I see the box, but that's right. No, you no, can no, sit no. on top it's of the totally box. Totally fine. Yep. Uh, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> You're just, quite it's, comfortable. it's a Relax. costume. You're wearing the box, that's all. You could take a piss He's in there company? instead of I'm not stopping entirely every sure, 10 minutes. To be fair. Yeah, I, I, I just knew that they were a group that were running the Valentine's Saloon. Right. But then they moved to the Bastille. And then they moved from the Bastille to the Corrigan. They're playing fucking musical chairs with locations. And I know that they shot my people over a fucking gun. If we just invented something. What's that? It's a, it's a mobile outhouse. Patent it and sell them. Is he peeing on your back, is there? No, 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 in the box. It's leak proof. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got going. Give him a bottle. Company's a pain. Uh, well, we've robbed them twice and they've been very, very upset twice. When realistically, they just have to come and communicate with me rather than getting all upset. Yeah, your horse is fucked. You're gonna need to get, you know, fix your saddle up. Yeah. I can't get away from him because there's fucking glitch. There we go. Go in with Pete in his little uh, portable outhouse. 
You could just give him a bottle, you know. That's a fair point. <laughs> Is there anyone at the clubhouse? Or, sorry, slaughterhouse? You guys are the weird ones. Why aren't you taking pisses? I, you, you need I mean, I drink. do. Oh, I'm just, I'm just, I go at a normal rate. You go every fucking yeah. 20 minutes. Mine are calculated. Sometimes you need to go every 20 minutes. You got the bladder of a 90 year old, Pete. Sometimes. Sometimes I got the bladder of a... Bladder push. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Do you wake up wet in the morning? Maybe. Great. He's a bad wet off. <laughs> that man needs to be institutionalized. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Incognito. Think of the 10 months. That one year is in slight. Wait a minute. That one year is in sight. Oh, right, right, right. Definitely missed you the last week. Uh, was like going cold turkey. Dude, I appreciate the uh, the resub and I, I apologize for not being around. I'm going to try not to get as much OOC times if I can help it. All right. Let's check the car again. And then we'll check the best still just to be sure. office isn't as busy as usual all right let's see that's a horse I think someone could be in here when we do limpany can chat name the buildings oh yeah man for sure dude when we do limpany Hundred percent, bro. <laughs> Is anybody home? Hello. I know they've had meetings upstairs in the past. I'll check upstairs. All right. Too limpy without Speedy. I'm waiting for Speedy to die and then I'll do it. That's somebody coming over. I don't know if it's one of them, though. Oh, there is someone here. What do you hear? What do you say? Yeah, come on in. Oh, hi there. I'm uh, looking for the captain. I don't know who the captain may be. No, me neither. But I was told he was looking for someone to uh, drive his ferry boat. Oh, this guy is dressed like Wallaby almost. That... So I came here looking. What's your name? Uh, Benny Bones. Yeah, you might have to come back a bit later. Fair enough. Let me get out your hair. Hey, care now. You recognize this foul? Uh, not particularly, no. He wasn't there. Mm -mm. Well then, he's deep in thought. What? And he's just being, and he's just being particularly silent. Yeah. Yeah. 
We gonna wait here until he decides to wake the fuck up. <laughs> I've seen this trick before. <laughs> yeah, alright. Come on, mister. <laughs> you know what? Actually, mm, I mean, I suppose that wasn't a bar in a public place. <laughs> Maybe I'm being too strappy. Probably. Has he got a cattleman? Oh, God. <laughs> this guy's coming back to being surrounded. Ah, <sighs> wakey, wakey, fella. <laughs> you Pete, make yourself comfortable, Pete. I shall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we don't need to wait. We don't need to wait. <laughs> Have him on, waiting. Do we think this motherfucker is important? You know what? What? Who's Nothing. this? Well, hello there. Come on in. Yeah, please. Come on in. What's going on? Hello, hello. Missy. Misty, sorry. Misty. Howdy, Scout, Dakota. Howdy. Oh. Looks like, uh, who is this? Coincidence. Hmm. Howdy. <laughs> and who are you? What do you hear? What do you say? Is this fella talking? No. Uh, Tim? not particularly. Do I have, did the cat give me my voice back? Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. No, Dr. Tim Giffen. I was just in some deep thoughts. Oh, Apologize. you're a doctor. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So what uh, brings you uh, here to the the Corrigan? Oh, I know these folks. Um, but I was just resting my head up here for a little bit. You know the Black Company? <laughs> Am I a part of what? I said, do you know the Black Company? I mean, I'm aware of them. I'm not a part of them. And what about you? Is that Wallaby? Yeah. Wallaby. What do you What do you mean? What about you? Are you associated to the Black Company? No. Um. I I manage this place here. Uh. The, the Grand Corrigan. Are they hanging I'm, I'm out here now? Who? The Black Company. No, they're still in Valentine. Uh, Honey, I just woke up, honey. I, I still I'm fucking rubbing Valentine. the dirt off my eyes. I'm, I'm. Specifically, Jameson and Jules, I believe we were told might be a part of you guys or hanging out with you guys or something. I haven't seen them. No, I haven't seen either of them today yet. The last time yeah. I saw them was Monday, and I was at the wedding. And I've yeah, been spending we just time here. Gorma. I, I don't know. <laughs> what did you say? I was asking you if they had been spending time here. This Jules fella. Now, like I said, we saw them Monday. Um, from Monday to now, I don't know if they've been here or not. To be honest. All right. Well, if they stop by, let them know that uh, the dead end gang were here looking for them just for a little chit chat. Uh, okay. okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, Take oh, care. Hey, wait a minute. Is that Dakota? Yeah. Howdy. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? I've been meaning to send you a follow-up telegram. I've, I've been out of state. I apologize. Um, I'm definitely. Ask for telegram. Don't want the telegram. Interesting. They're back. Now they're in Valentine. I don't know where the fuck these people are. 
first it's the Bastille, then it's the car again, now it's fucking Valentine. It's not a good time to be going to Valentine, to be honest with you. Yep, like you said earlier, it's probably not the best. We can check the Bastille one more time, I suppose. Mm. Alright, let's do it. Or stop running away. From Can't you. imagine why, yeah. I know. Also, uh, Jules is a woman. I'll be able to tell you exactly who she is because I know what she looks like, what she wears. Alright. There's a woman. No Taipan. horses interesting what do you hear what do you say how are you uh, Jules and Jameson I presume I believe so. Oh, lovely. I've been looking for you. Yeah? Yeah, you mind? A little chit chat inside. Yeah, I can do that. Lovely. Alright. This is where you work? Uh, no. Ah. It's a. Uh... Drew Peters. Drew Peters. I want to uh, oh. discuss some things I'm sure you know what about. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, imagine so. Could be a law. You know what? Maybe he's not the best How place. I mean, I mean... Uh, yeah, we could go yeah. somewhere else. Follow us. Mm -hmm. All right. We're gonna go somewhere else. That you, Pete? Creed? No, that was someone else. I think. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. You're talking about... You're talking about... A different character completely, I think. All right, let's go this way. It's up here. Been looking everywhere for you. 
where it is you're in Valentine, the saloon, then the Bastille, and the Corrigan. You're tough people to find. Yeah, I'm in a, I'm in a lot of places. I would say you uh, probably couldn't find me for a couple days because I was in Gorma for a, a wedding, but no. I'm, uh, I'm always around. And you're still part of this black company? Uh, as of recently, uh, no. I'm, uh, I'm not. Since when? I would say, uh, maybe like four or five days ago. Alright. Well. Unfortunately, things transpired. Bad business. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I don't know if I was talking to you like a few weeks back. I made it very clear that if things were to happen untoward, like a robbery or such, that you could reach out to me and I'd make it better to avoid such messes. Uh, yeah, sounds like a good idea. Um, doesn't sound like you were talking to me, though. Just so I get a full picture from your side of things. If you could go through exactly what happened. Oh, uh, yeah, I could do that. Uh, well, uh, just for some clarity for you, um, I was with the Black Company. Uh, I think uh, that's when I saw you last was when I was just asking you if you heard anything about how Mr. Black was killed. I know Alvin uh, used to be associated with the Chase gang, uh, as well as a fellow by the name of Chester. I already spoke to him as well. Well, uh, Mr. Black was, uh, you know, he was the executive of that business and... uh, some things came up. I decided to move on, uh, head back to my roots on the Corrigan. Uh, so that's where uh, I'll be at now. Uh, well, the other night, um, one of my uh, business partners, uh, also with the Corrigan, and Jules right here, uh, I was going to be working at the Corrigan as well. Well, mm-hmm. they got uh, they got robbed, and. Uh, well, Emerson is, uh, well, he's a bit unhinged, so, uh, instead of shooting, I, I talked him down a bit, uh, told him to let me have a conversation. Uh, he went out scouting, seen, uh, a bunch of y'all, uh, over at that, uh, house just west of here. Uh, you know, so I said, let me go talk, let me have a conversation. Uh, it seemed like we were making progress, but, uh, okay, my friend's a bit unhinged, and also, uh, he didn't appreciate some of the talk that was going on. And, uh, well, he started firing shots, and, uh, I didn't have much of a choice at that point. What words were being said that he didn't like? Uh, just saying, like, uh, let's see, maybe, uh, something about his attitude, I I believe. Specifically from your friend, Edwin. Ah. Mm Mm-hmm. Edwin is rough around the edges. Yeah. However, uh, a gun is a fucking gun. Yeah, we, um... One of our other uh, new business partners, uh, his name is Tim. Um, he uh, certainly laid into myself about that and uh, said, well, if uh, somebody takes your gun, I'll just buy you a fucking new one. At that point, uh, Emerson was on a mission and I tried to hold him back as much as possible. And, uh, well... He got a little pissed off. Pride was wounded. Robberies are never personal. Yeah, it makes sense. I've always made it clear that 
if you have a problem, if something is taken, I'm very easy to find. Bloodshed yeah, it... should never be the option. Otherwise, things get real messy real quick. People don't talk. People draw iron. Yep, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I think uh, he got a bit, a bit triggered um, over the conversation he had with uh, your other fella, uh, Eddie, I believe. Edwin and um, and I believe Speedy was there too. Yeah, Speedy was not there. Speedy was not there. He left five minutes before you showed up. And mm. just so you're aware, after mm -hmm. you gunned my people down, you took them to get medical help and left one behind who only got found yesterday. Yeah, that was uh, not an... That was not intentional. Um, one of the other fellows we were with, Wayne, uh, stayed behind at the doctor's office, um, assisting, and then uh, he told us he actually went back. Uh, we did not know there was another person there. I mm -hmm. apologize for that. Well, your friend should really consider who he's fucking shooting before he shoots them. Now, the only reason... I haven't put a bullet in either of you is because I'm reasonable and I don't want bloodshed over something so fucking petty as a gun. You said his name is Emerson. Uh, that's correct. And you're with them? Is he with you? Uh, yes. Hmm. How do you think I should sort this out? I have people oh. wanting blood for this. Uh, it's reasonable. Uh, it was an unfortunate situation. Um, doesn't mean that we can't solve it without bloodshed. Cinema sins? Holy shit! Well, I suppose, uh... Um, oh, she's a sweetheart. Y'all know who we Thank are so now, much. so... Could understand, you know, not wanting to have a conflict in the future. Um... I suppose, you know... We could... Provide something to you. Um... As reimbursement for the, uh... The injuries or issues that occurred. Give me a moment. All right. Yeah. You were there. Mm hmm. Was it clear that these two weren't? The ones to want the blood. Very much so. Uh, if Emerson is the one with the beard, that uh, he's the one that had all the issues and was causing a fuss. They uh, were being actually very cordial. I will say though, the, at the beginning they approached us with only two options, which was either give the guns back or something's going to happen. Right. And uh, a deal had to be brought up on our side and provided to them, which we went in and spoke about. Oh, thank you so um, much. And then that uh, woman that's and over I, there right I, now I had a lot so to much. say about I who I was wrong with you. As well, talking down on everything and saying that I probably should make better choices. Mm -hmm. He, however, was, as he said, very cordial. I want to talk to this Emerson fella. Mm -hmm. I'm so hungry. What do you think, Payne? Thank you for the beans. Good input, Pete. Thank you. Soon? You promise? Yeah. You promise? I think what he just did then was very submissive. <laughs> he, just, he, he was just like, okay. I want I'm this. Wide open. I want this Emerson fella. I agree. Mm, he had all. a whole lot to say. If I tell you to give me my gun back, you give it back. Or something like this will happen again. Yada, yada, yada. Went on and on and on. 
All right. Very well. All right. All right. Now, just to be clear, I don't want no unnecessary bloodshed. We know how quickly these things can escalate, get out of control. Next thing you know, we're all burying folk. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. However, I want to see this Emerson. I'd like you to organize that. No bringing a fucking army. Just you two and him. I want to have a word face to face with him. We sort this out. We put it behind us. We move on. And maybe, instead of being robbed, we can do business. I love making money. I do as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I could do that. Go on. <sighs> we are fine. We won't be getting attacked or anything. I assure you of that. Alright, I appreciate that. Thanks, Wildy. I'm sorry it had to come to this. So messy. People are and, so uh, quick. I do uh, apologize for that situation. Uh, I believe we had a good conversation. Uh, just unfortunate that, uh, you know, there was a That's disagreement between uh, two of them. Well, we'll just call it a little bump in the road then exactly all right i'm going to give you my telegram when you get in touch with him and can meet with us you let me know yeah i can do sure that thing. all right do you have a piece of paper Of course it did, man. It has to crash at least 20 times a fucking session, man. All right, load him back up. Come on. Come on, team speak. There we go. All right, sorry about that. <laughs> of course! Of course! <laughs> Uh, all right, loan back in. <laughs> of course, man. Uh, RP detected. Danae, thank you again for the raid with Cinema Sins Live. Appreciate that. I don't know how many of you stayed. Maybe 50, maybe 40, maybe less. Welcome to the stream. My name is Vertigo. I'm a uh, full time streamer here on Twitch. I do. Uh, Mostly roleplay nowadays. And uh, Danae's one of my uh, favorite RPers. Me and her go way back to when I started doing RP on this server. She was one of the first people I got to RP with. And she's fabulous. And she's, a, she's a lovely lady. So I appreciate that raid. If you do enjoy roleplay, feel free to give us a follow. I stream most days nowadays. Uh, I actually put an effort in. <laughs> Sadie the pretty lady, that's right. Mm. Mm. All right. 
Oh boy, oh boy. All right, this can be awkward. <laughs> Are they all still here? Oh, he... Opera? Did everyone crash? It might have been everybody. Oh, no. Did you... I'm oh, sorry about that. that. That's a little awkward. That's no, all right. All right. Yeah, it's all right, Dingo. Do you have a piece of paper? Uh, yeah, I can remember it. Yeah. yeah. All right. It is, uh, Nutsack591. NS. All right, sounds good. Uh, do you want mine? Ah, uh, just telegram me and leave it there, and I'll I'll get it that way. I'm terrible with my memory sometimes. No problem. I appreciate right, no. you coming here and trusting to talk with me. That means a lot. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'll, uh, once I figure out when he's around, I'll let you know. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure. Right, it I out. appreciate that. Yeah. All right, thank you. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. All right. Yeah, you too. Yeah, as well. Ta -ta, farewell. Take it easy. It'll be interesting to see um, if Alvin goes to that. Why is that? Uh, apparently, this guy Alvin was telling me the other day, or us rather, that this guy had something to do with torturing him, light torture, he said, or something like that. It was, uh, Alvin got sliced up, like his face all mangled and whatnot from that Emerson fella. Oh, yeah, that. Mm -hmm. from a while em back. From Emerson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Darren, sorry. Not, not recently, I don't think, as he's been a part of this group, but mm -hmm. still, he mentioned it. And they did bring him up uh, when they came up to Shady Ball. They said, is Alvin here as well? Mm hmm. Yeah, so they were very. Not too sure if. That's something to be concerned about, but... Oh. We'll talk it through. As I said, we're reasonable. Are yeah. we not? I'll see if he is. Hmm. I mean, it, you would think that the man had a, a thousand dollar navy or something. It was a standard navy with an etch on it, with his name and telegram number. That's it. That's what he decided to start shooting for. I think at that point it's more about the prod than anything. Scout. Yeah. It's more about the... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Principal? Oh, God. Pete. I think you'll How realize, you? I think we all have realized that the crossing's full of fucking idiots. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. That's a beautiful shot, man, with the light. I'm one of them. At least you're honest about it. Most ain't. No, Pete, I don't think that you would potentially start a gang war over a Navy revolver now. Come now. That is a good point. <laughs> or maybe you fucking would, I don't know. Come on. <laughs> Beautiful music, man. What to do with Emerson, dude? I mean, it all depends how the conversation goes, right? Yeah. Gullet and 
<laughs> what? I don't even want to know what I just heard. You can use your imagination. It was a really good impression of something, Pete. What you and Ishmael been up to when you're not around? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not even go there. <laughs> All right. How many things has that been today checked off? Well, most of that. Old. We just have to, uh... Deal with the speedy goose thing, but uh, we'll have to wait for him to be around for that. Yeah, it looked like uh, earlier when we were at the telegram station in Saint Denis, the uh, what's his fucking face, uh, Scapo Scarpo with Pearly was Scott tying Patty. you up. He was what? Yeah, he looked like they were like looking at you, like I don't know if that gun issue is still a thing or not. Oh, okay. Well, let's go back into town then. Gotcha. I want to update. By eyeing you up, I meant they were looking at you. That's what I expected uh, when you said that. Yeah, I'm just making sure it wasn't like nothing aggressive or nothing. No, 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 no. That I saw or heard. I don't have a problem. I want to see if they do. Plus, I got to speak to Pearly about a, a stone I want to buy. They might not be in town anymore. Might be worth checking out the saloon, right? One horse here. Might as well stand horse back. Give me a second. Howdy. Hello, have you seen Pearly around? Uh, yes. Uh, Pearly. Last I saw, he was walking towards the bank. They're all riding, riding together then. How long ago? From the chain cells. Ah. Well, when did we meet, Garnich? About 10 minutes ago? Okay. Yeah, it's about 15 minutes then. Alright, thank you. Howdy. How long for you? Can you update me on the change of voice? It's just progression, man, getting older, taking fucking bullets and shit. Be selling this? 
I don't fucking know, man. I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't like no doubt when I change the voice. It's been changing over time slowly. Take the bank. Mm, no. Horses. Nah, you're good, dude. You're good. Did Pearly do? I want to talk to him about a tombstone. For uh, Rufus. Alright, well. We can check the matter, and if they're not there, I guess we just left. You've hardly noticed. It's, it's strange that characters like Ed have. Yeah, well, it hasn't seen Wallaby in a long time, to be fair. I guess it's more of a difference than I think it is because more people have pointed it out than I've expected. No jacket? Oh, yeah, I gotta put that back on. hear a difference i mean i i think that but i've been it's been called out like five six seven times now like in character anybody home hello hello <laughs> I suppose not. I mean, for when he was younger, yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah. The voice from from the start till now is completely different. But people have been calling out like from like a month ago, which I, th I think his voice has been pretty much the same from a month ago. I thought, maybe not. I don't know. Duke, when are you going to start playing again, though, dude? That's the question. Sadly, I haven't heard or seen a fucking train all night. Yeah, that's a bit disappointing. Alright, let's check, uh... I want to check the... What's it called? Undertaker. Funeral home. The Undertaker safe. See if he's there. Uh, working on my mental health. Oh man, sorry to hear that, dude. Just, you know, take your time. I've been watching from. I haven't watching anything from. Sorry, from recently. Since like Thanksgiving. Maybe Halloween. Uh, his voice might have changed. I don't know. It's just been a gradual thing. I haven't like purposely tried to change the voice. It's just a, like a natural evolution of it. As I go on, just like Baz, like Baz's voice changed dramatically over time as well. I can't even do the Baz voice anymore. Like I can do the Baz voice, I can't do late Baz. Late Baz was so rough, like, and rugged because I was so used to doing that voice daily that I was able to hit these low lows that I couldn't, that I can't just do naturally. Um, and I can't, I can't really do it anymore. So when, when I do the Baz voice now, it's more like middle, middle, of the story like mid arc as I can still do you've missed your dead end gang family looking forward to doing dumb shit with you all yeah well we got a lot of dumb shit coming up man a lot of dumb shit 
But I'm just getting my, all my ducks in a row. And we haven't even started like planning for like the law stuff. Because I got an idea. I don't want to, I don't want to say, I want to kind of meta guard it. Which I think it would be. I don't, I don't think anyone would go out in people's chats and, and tell people. But I kind of want to mentally break Ruth and turn him bad, or at least make him do something that would get him fired. So I think that'd be a great way to go to go at Malone. I think Malone would lose his fucking mind. He just sounds less friendly overall. Well, he, he definitely is less less friendly. Hello. Oh, this fucking guy. I guess he hasn't run this anymore. Um... I have no idea. Apparently. I mean, he was, he was awake. Yeah. A lot earlier. Well, when I, when I was, when I first woke up like four hours ago. Enough, he's still here. Well, they said they saw him 10 minutes, minutes ago. Yeah. Wow. Damn it, man. Do I have Pearly's telegram? I don't think I do. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Hello. Doing well, how are you? Hello. I'm very well, thank you. Look at that purple coat. Hi. Hello, Wallaby. Hey. Hello, Wallaby. Hello, hello. What are you here? What are you say? Well, not too much. May I say, I love what you've done to your hair. Yeah, just a half up. Yes, it's beautiful. All right. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. Those men with good taste. Love the pants, mm -hmm. too. Very nice. I feel like I'm being buttered up for a conversation. Is that no, true? No, I would never butter you up just for a conversation, my dear. Yeah, all right, all right. It's a nice jacket you got. Oh, thank you. Keeps me warm. It's good. It's awfully quiet. Or awfully cold out there. It's quiet, too. Yeah, it's quiet. You want to have a little chit-chat? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, come on. How goes the acquisition of Lichfelds? We don't have any lich fields yet. Um, we have the word out on them, but unfortunately that doesn't be to, seem to be something people are picking up very often yet. Yeah, they are a rarity, that's for sure. Very well. How's business overall for you fellas? It's going pretty good. Of course, if you ever run into anything you'd like to sell, it make business a little bit better, you know? Oh, you know. I've got plenty of wares. Yeah, all right. You're looking to sell them? Hmm. Because we will buy all of them. Oh, I know you well. Currently, unfortunately, I've got a an order to fulfill. But after that, everything I get, I wouldn't mind coming to you. We can all make some money. Be happy. Be friends. Can I ask you a question about something? Of course. Yeah, where's your stance on speeding killing Mrs. Moose, the goose? <laughs> Mrs. Moose? Mrs. Goose, She's sorry. changing animals. No, that's not all what's happening. What's your stance on that? My stance is that I don't know why or what Speedy was doing, but I hear he wants to clear things up with people. So I guess we'll all find out, one way or the other, what actually happened. Excuse me, gentlemen. Anjit? 
Ah, oh, fuck. How are we all doing today? Wait, sorry, I did not see you there. How are you doing? One moment. Thank you. It's very good, isn't it? What's your name? I'm Ishmael. Thank you. Ishmael. Well, it's lovely to Hello. see you. Good to see you too. Hi, I'm, I'm Senior Deputy Jack Cameron. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. If you see right. a Deputy Come Tango, on. can you help him get the stick out of his butt? Okay, I will do my best. Squeaky Pete, how you doing? <laughs> my name you is Jim. <laughs> can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we wanted that uh, conversation with Squeaky Pete. Uh, well, wanted. Squeaky Unfortunately, Squeaky Pete, Pete is uh, not currently present. No, 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 no. no is that no, no. true? Because yeah. you know, I know the man quite well. I am actually. Dirty Gerald. And the Dirty, dirty Gerald Gerald's. you're talking to. Uh -huh. oh. The one and the right. only. Absolutely right. And uh. What, is, what you got planned for the rest of today then, Wallaby? I thought I'd go to Valentine and rob the bank. What do you think? Right, well, that's good. So, what will we, we see you in about? We can go there together. Come on. Yes, let's go together. Yes, let's rob the bank together. That could be a first. Into the oh, fray. Okay, right. Think of go. it like a bonding exercise. Wise move. Uh huh. <laughs> Do it. All right, they're not following. There you go. I think they actually thought this was Dirty Harold. Dirty Gerald. Gerald. I don't even know what I said. Dirty Gerald. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we should tell Cameron that uh, I'm the one who shot him on my moonshine run the other day. No, no, definitely keep that to yourself. Really good voice, Pete. It was. It worked out. And it so would have worked better if you didn't sound like yourself at the very beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you probably right. Oh god. That was weird. I'm shocked they didn't chase. But for all they know, I was just I think they might think we're actually robbing a bank. <laughs> That's true. Is, is that mm. what it is? They think we're going to rob a bank, so they think they're going to have to respond in a minute? I really don't want to <laughs> go to jail right now, guys. Like, All right, really, well, yeah. really, really don't. Yeah. I really want to just go into a bush and sleep. Yeah, I'm honestly, I'm getting tired too. I think I might lay my head low myself, find somewhere to hide out. Let's go this way until we find a building. I have a good feeling about this direction. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, God, All right, hit shot. <laughs> I'll tell you this, guys. I'll tell you this. Today was like, for me, building the foundation of some crazy shit that's about to happen. I feel like we're in for a hell of a ride the next few streams. I really do. And we haven't even run into Ruth yet, which is going to be a whole fucking thing. We, we got some work done. We put out some fires, but at the same time, we've kind of set up shit for the future. I'm looking forward to that meeting with that, that, that guy. Emil, I think his name is. I think it is. <laughs> What is that? Uh, moonshine cart. Oh. That's probably why they didn't chase. They probably... <laughs> hey. Pete, what are you doing? Pete, that looks really interesting. <laughs> Stay right there. <laughs> does this... Does this count as public indecency? I think, yeah, I think Peter's on a list. He's got the mustache for it. Yeah, it ain't your leg.
All right, well, that does me for today. Goodbye, right. folk. Good All right, all. we'll see you <laughs> next week. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Bert Glor, Bert Ias, Bert Dan. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, guys, for that PTSD. Yeah. Who? Who's they? All right. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Let me see. What I'm gonna send you to. Hold on. Let's get those dancers in the chat. Ah. Let's go. Let's let's go. <laughs> I want you guys to put all the dancers in a chat and give them my love. Say Vert says hello and he misses you. You know how it is. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Till then, ta-ta and farewell.